G-Money. Yo. What's up, man? We back. We here. How you feel, man? Yeah, I know. We yeah. Here. I, I guess brought that, right? Woo! Huh? We here. Yeah, yeah. You was out there talking, mingling, and all that, talking all that nonsense. I mean, out he, there, huh? he, uh, he, uh, you know. It's early, it's early. I, I, I'll, I'll wait. Nah, I'll, I love you like that guy. I'll at least wait till the, we get past like it. Because you like him. I'll wait. That's by, you a biased guy, man. Light skin. Yo, yo, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We, yo, we introduce you yet, man. Hold on, Shani. We introduce you yet, man. Uh, you just did, but you okay. like it. <laughs> G, chill, G. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll at least wait till we get past the intro. How you doing, man? You all, all right, right, man. You know, we you know we, 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 we landed a situation for Flip the Script podcast. Yes. You know, um, we shot a commercial for it. Yes. And by the time this come out, well, I don't want to say it yet. No, nah, we'll, nah. we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It was a good situation. How do you feel about it? Round of applause for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It came a long way. It was dope, man. You know, I, I walked in the room that that night. It came in a little late, part of me, but uh, walked in the room, a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, People love you. I was. They love, you, they love you more than me, and I like that. I mean, I'm cool, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But uh, nah, it was dope, man. It was dope. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting our podcast from day one. You know, uh. A lot of the guests were there. A lot of the personalities were there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Shout out to Bino. Shout out to, you know, Killer Kev. Brody. Uh, Brody. TMS. Shout out to everybody. Bro- Jenna. J- Bubbles. J-O. J-O. Basco. Uh, G. Blacks. G. Blacks. His wife, Queena. <laughs> his wife. Shout out to his wife. Coley. Stace. Boomy. Boomy. Who, uh, uh, a lot of people. <laughs> I said Jenna. Michelle, Michelle one time was in the building. Mighty two time. Whoop, whoop. whoop. Mm-hmm. Um, Shout out to Mom Dukes that was there. Dawson. Yeah, I heard, yeah, I heard, you know, I heard that you may have fall outside. I don't like that. Nah, man. <laughs> yeah, you think you think I didn't hear that? You think I didn't hear that, huh? Suck ass. She good. She huh? good. Yeah? What Mom, the hell happened, man? Mom's is good. She all right? She got out the car. She just I don't know why she tripped over some. I don't know. Man. You helped her up? Yeah. Well, uh shot my friend Tammy. She was there. Tammy helped her up. And uh, I think uh Michelle, did you help her go to Saw her and then we she got up. She was good. She's an OG. She was in She's there. Good. Yeah. She got a pretty big, like, she got like a hole in her knee. Like, it's kind of crazy. She went to the hospital? Nah, she's, a, she, she's from Queens. Why are you taking my line? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to her. How, you, how your father doing? Good? Everybody good. But, you know, since we had them waiting, let's get straight to the interview. But we got a we got a, a special. Hold, please. Uh, oh, okay. Shout, shout out to my sponsor today, man. We got. We got oh, hold the up. We got some, <laughs> First of all, let me stop cursing because we, 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 we got to stop cursing, shout man. Sp- hold the, the heck sponsors. up. Hey, yo, sir, we ain't introduced you yet, man. <laughs> This will, this will be quick, sir. Pardon me. Look, man, look. Shot, look. So you can see that you're involved with this too. Like, you know, you, you my think. My name Queen Flip. I, my, my name Flip. I don't know what that is. You think you think people don't be wanting to show you love, so I wanted to give shout it to you to on, them, on yeah. camera. You know what I'm saying? What is this? This is my sponsor, but they wanted to give you a shirt also. So they gave you the same joint. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, why are you doing that? Why are you even giving it to me behind the scenes? You know I'm not taking shirts on, on joints. You be like twins, man. Nah, we're nah, like, nah. We're, like, we're like brothers, man. You know I'm not taking no joints, man. Why All right, well, I'm just showing Let you. Let me see that. I'm taking. I'm, I'm, nah. Yeah, G, why you. G, did Shanta. they pay you extra to do this? Did they pay you extra to do this? Hold on, P- hold please. Let me see. Nah. Uh, sh- uh, <laughs> oh please. Shout out, shout out to OYO Fleet, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to the dude Doe and uh, the guys with OYO Fleet. Um, this this T-shirt is, is uh their, their slogan is I'm wearing their. Oh, sorry, I'm reading this wrong. I'm wearing their maintain T. The message is to keep your head above water. You know what I'm saying. So shout out to o- OYOFleet.com. Um, OYO Fleet. sponsor. Also shout out to uh. Uh, the artist from upstate. I I, I, got, I came across his page recently. He go by the name of Dirty O. He got a crazy single out right now with with, with uh, Benny the Butcher. It's called No Bank Account. You know what I'm saying? It's on Spotify. It's on Tidal. It's on everywhere. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Dirty O from upstate New York. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they tuned in right now. Um, but yeah, man, let's 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 get let's get into it, man. We back we back on it. You know what I mean, I I want to say this, you know, before. Of course, you know, you know, you know, you know, with you, you know what I'm saying? Because you get all the money, you gotta be cocky. No. Nah. You know, you got all the sponsors, you're cocky. No. Nah. You know, you're you're making fun of me. No. Nah, uh-uh. You're playing you're playing cha ching noises. No. Nah, uh-uh. You know what I mean? All that is cool and all that is cute, man. But G Money. Yo. Episode one, five, nine. Nigga, nigga we made, made it. We got a oh. special, special guest. He came bearing gifts. G Money wanna pop that. I don't drink, but he tried to force me to drink. I'm gonna take a sip off the strength. <laughs> oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah that's legendary dope. episode. That's yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna pop it or not? Wow, wow. It's good. It's a do something, man. I don't, don't pop that. I don't know how that shit works. No, you, gotta hold, you, gotta, you gotta hold it down a little tighter than that, because nah. it's gonna fly. You gotta yeah. You can lift it. You, you, you strong. You yeah. strong yeah. enough. You can do some push oh, There you go. There push ups. Hey. Spill it, spill it. That's what I'm talking about. Uh huh. This is why I don't like drinking. Oh, my P.O. Dirty. Look, give me some. I'm gonna take a little bit of sip and that's it, cause he, cause he was kind enough. 
Take a little sip. We got to do toast or nothing? You just want to get whacked? Oh, hell yeah. Come on. <laughs> toast. Toast to success. Uh-huh. Shout out to okay. We got a special guest. Oh, my God. Staten Island's in the building. Right. You know that shit. Right. Um, heard a lot of good things about him. <clears throat> Wu-Tang. The fans been waiting for this one. The fans been waiting for it. Some oh, bad. Ron, some bad. Sh- yeah, I heard some bad. <laughs> sh- I'm gonna get that. Don't worry. You, 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 you <laughs> gonna you gonna get yours. I'm definitely. Don't worry. Round of applause for Shaheem in the building. Round of applause. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, I am. Why you already know what this statement is? Welcome, welcome to script, man. Introduce hey. your comment. Hey, yo, man, you recorded your hold on. Yeah, man, recorded. Nah, 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 it's over. I'm about to get at him. I'm about to get at him. Nah, he know, he know that once it gets live, all the live and all that shit is put to. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Let's I wait, 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 wait. Okay. Listen, listen. Ooh. Chill out. We're going to get it over. We're going to get it over with. Yo, listen. Thanks for having me flip the script, G Money. Man, it's a pleasure because let me tell you, right, the people who's been in my sh- in my inbox, I didn't even know really what the fuck was going on, so I figured it out and seen a whole bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, yo, you know you did the flag, you know all that, but yo, you got to get with and flip the script and I'm like oh what's flip the script I didn't know so I started doing my research mm-hmm. and I seen you jumping off a car looking like with the Jimmy Fly Snooker for Nelson on yes, the yes, table yes, yes, I said yes. okay I'll f- with this shit. this is yes, my type yes. of shit you know? uh, but, but can you introduce the comrades in the building please okay in the building we got my boy Jay Jonathan you know Jay what I'm saying BK no, Finest no, and we got We got the guard, the big guard, Big Malik, Staten Island legend. If you've been anywhere in the state, you know Big Malik. Shout out to Big you Malik. You know what it's hitting for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Malik, I don't like I, don't, I like you, but I don't like you because you look you look you look very, very scary and slick. <laughs> I'm watching you. I'm on I'm on you, Big Malik. <laughs> big Malik, I'm on you. No, 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 shout out to you, man. That's my <laughs> But yo, yeah. are you still on live, bro? No, I'm not live. You can't be live. I'm recording. You can't record, man. Come on, we don't lie. We can't. We, we, come on, what's yeah, up with you, man? It's over. It's no, over. you're not. You still record. Come on, don't do that. <laughs> Yo, it's over. My man, don't do that, man. Big Malik yeah, is good. I, 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 I need to post this shit over. Yo, why are you looking at me like that, though? Because you got to respect the rules up here, Jay. Nah, it's over, my brother. I appreciate you. You said your said my name. My name ain't Jay. My name is um. He <laughs> said not Jay. It's just Jonathan. I like that. It's Jonathan. <laughs> but what, what, welcome to the script, man. Welcome, thank welcome, you, welcome. Thank we appreciate having, having you. It's a pleasure. You. This is an interview that the people's wanted, man. So you know, you know what I'm saying, and I'm here for that. You know what I'm saying, and, and you know, then I realized that y'all was y'all was reaching out, so it's even made it even more better once they started telling me about it. But then y'all already had reached out prior to them telling y'all about it. So I respect that. Love is love. Appreciate nah, salute, that. Salute, salute. So I mean, you know, out out the gate. I want to go a little different today, man. Um, I wanted to ask you: Did you see the the, the, the battle last night, Jada versus Five? A little bit of it. A little bit of it. Yeah. What you heard about it? Um, I mean, it wasn't really nothing to hear about because, like, I'm I'm a fan of both of them. Facts. So I already knew both of their catalogs, and I already knew the strong points, you know, and the weak points. I said, if, if and I was just what I just wanted more soul tape. Like if I'd have mm. got more soul tape, it would have been more because that's 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 the music when I was behind the walls that everybody was loving. Right, right. Soul tape one, two from Fab, and it was like ah, I needed more of that. You know what I'm saying? I want to get your opinion Kiss, on that because you know Kiss's catalog is extensive from the '90s through the 2000s to where we at now. Mm. So I mean, it was just great for hip hop. Like I'm a fan, so it's like I rocked all night. Whatever they, whatever each one of them threw on, I, it was a moment that who, I had with those songs. Who you felt? Won the battle though, because I, I don't want to say. Let me won, tell you, you know, because it, it, I think it was a celebration. I don't. It really was. Say it was. Somebody won it. Was. Or if it really like it was. it was really because if it was a battle, they wouldn't have done none of them songs. They just turned the mic on and went head to head. Facts. So it wasn't a battle. I think it was more a celebration for hip hop and the music, and I and I respect them for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I have I have a um, I have a more uh. Uh, a more personal relationship with Kiss. So even if he lost, he won. You know what I'm saying? Because right, that's my you. guy. So it don't even matter. Like, we handle that shit later. What do you think about it? I mean, you know, uh, when I first saw the battle being posted online, out the gate, I ain't gonna lie, I thought Fab. I'm like, yo, Fab gonna take this. It's gonna be good. Then I, I went on uh, I went on Title. Shout the Title. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I played, the, played some joints. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, Kiss, I forgot he got this record. I forgot this record. And the Locks joints and Bad Boy joints. I'm like, okay. Kiss, you know, it might be a tough battle. But then I watched the battle. I felt like I felt like Jada was prepared. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jada well, came out well. See, see, you know, like, see, I grew up during those times. So all he had to play for me was, you see, caught one for my man in a match. Like, that's it. That's it. That's it. It's over. <laughs> It's over after that year of C shit because I lived through those times. So I know when I heard that, when I hear those type of records, it reminds me of what I was going through in my life at that time. Mm. And that time when UC came out, we still had tapes. We were still flying up uptown on the West Side Highway going to get some mother, some weed off 125th and you getting the compression weed where it was like really official. So it's just a different relationship with the music Got you. that I can relate to. I don't know about anybody else, but that's how music is for me. When I hear a song, it takes me for the time, how I felt and what I was going through. Right. So I just think that I had more moments of that with Kiss. Mm -hmm. oh. Welcome. Appreciate thank you, you, thank you, know, you for talking me. and stuff like that. And I appreciate you being patient. You know what I mean? Excuse the tardiness. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you. You got to. I'm going to talk Back. Nah, that's fine. That's Hopefully fine. we don't end up in the bathroom. That's fine. That's fine. Know, that's fine. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the school I come from. You can come me, on Rackers Island. Too. I'm yeah. from Staten Island, me and there's millions of Brooklyn and Bronx and Queens. Yeah, I'm from and Queens. Like, and like two Staten Island. So if you wanted anything past seven o'clock, you had to fight. That's what I. Grew well, up listen. The invitation <laughs> to the back bathroom is there. We know where it's at. But so you know, get, you know what? If we get, if we get, if we get a little touchy, we got the guard, Big Malik. Big Malik rock with me already. Big Malik got mind the business. I like Big Malik. He got mind the business. He rock with me. That's not gonna happen. Big Malik rock with me. We ain't doing. We flip. Wait, wait, listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Listen. We lock the doors in here. <laughs> Listen, hey, look. It's going to be a rumble in the Bronx, and it's a rumble in the Bronx. Yeah, yeah, facts. Uh, well, well, you're going to have, you're going to have, you're going to have to put it in, Big This is what we're going to say. You're going to have to put it in. This is what we're going to say. This is what we going to say. We're going to keep the things in the bag. That's cheating. That's no, that's cheating. fine. Come on. You're not going to cheat. Not gonna cheat. Wait, so on, whatever y'all got under the table and behind and all yeah, I mean, I mean, we're going to keep them things there. Yeah, Whatever's keep, in the bag. We got to be fair. Yeah. Nah, we, yeah. It's yeah. just these. Big Malik is big, so, I mean, we may have to get a stick. In the hallway. That's about now, it. I might have to go out to homegirl. But my only competition is homegirl with the camera. Oh. That's what I got to say. Now you got to go with Malik. G Money got to go with Jay. Oh. I'm going with her. <laughs> nah, welcome, welcome, man. You know, Yo. nah, 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 yeah. I appreciate you coming nah, up here, man. Love, um, bro. Tell us about your childhood. Take us back to your childhood. What oh, was growing childhood. up? Childhood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, sh Like, all right. Hip hop wise or just in general? No, childhood, your life. Generally. All right. Generally, you know, um, my mother had me at she was sixteen years old. So mm -hmm. most of my time I was with my grandparents until they passed. Um, I got into hip hop because my older cousin Reddy Red, he used to tag up, his name was Netic. He used to go to Harlem, he used to tag up on the trains, him, Gano Grills in the in the eighties, and he would come home, he had the Adidas flat fat laces, and he had the big Cunyon radio, and he would have mix tapes playing hip hop, and I was just fascinated by the lifestyle, the rope chain. So when he was out, the first time like I got beat up by my little cousin, I took his shell toes, I'm like a size two, and I went <laughs> to the projects with the size eight on because I wanted to wear shell toes. Like I had skips at that time. My was, I had some shit called winners. I don't know if anybody had skips back in the days. If you had winners, you officially had skips. Mm. So that was my sneaker. So I wore his shit and he caught me wearing it. It was a problem. But I loved hip hop from then on. And I was infatuated with the lifestyle and the culture. And then I lived, at the time my grandmother lived on the street called Osgood. And Osgood was, the, was in the middle of Park Hill and Stapleton from around my way. And at the time, you know, you had Audio 2, priority, first priority, uh, MC Light. This is like 86, around the time they was big. And they used to come to a yeah. deli called Mike's Deli where you would get a hero and a free juice when you bought, bought your hero. And I used to see uh, uh, DJ K-Rock pull up in the Jetta, Audio 2 pull up in the Jetta, MC Light, and I'd be sitting there like, oh, like those are real rappers. And I'd be sitting on my step like, yo. So I'm like, yo, I want to rhyme. You know what I'm saying? And then my my best friend, he was rhyming too. His name was Cool T at the time. But Cool T, real name is Knife Prince. Now he's part of Killer Army, who's the RZA's little brother. 
So me and him was best friends. So we used to sneak when his brothers at the time Rizzo was a DJ. So when they was out, we'd be the equipment doing our writing our little raps, and that's how we began our rapping thing. Me and him began rapping and going outside battling things. And then my mom's, she grew up with a guy by the name of Mercury, who's from the legendary R&B group, The Four Some Ds. Mm. So my mom, one day, we ran into Mercury, and she was like, yo, you got to hear my son rap. And I rap for Mercury. And Mercury would throw big parties on Staten Island. He would bring huge groups to Staten Island, anybody. You know, he's part of the Zulu Nation, and he would bring everybody, X-Clan, Naughty by Nature, Granddaddy, are you big names at the time? You know what I'm saying to 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 Staten Island, and he introduced me to the recording studio. So he put me in the studio and I was recorded a song called "That's Why the Girls Love the Shaheem." It was kind of like a remix to to my mentor RZA, because at the time he had a song called "That's Why the Girls Love the Rakim," that was on Tommy Boy. So. I made That's Why the Girls Love the Shaheen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so that was my first time in the studio, and then Merck would have these parties, and he would let me open up for these groups. So then at that time, I became to get noticed on Staten Island. So then RZA, who was Rakim at the time, and r &S, who produced the UMCs at the time they was out, he produced them, started to take notice in my, my notoriety on Staten Island and started allowing me to record in their home studios. So then I would like, you know, but I was still responsible for getting my tapes. So I had to go to 99 cent store and pay $2 for four tapes to go to the studio to record my demo. So I finally, at the time I finally recorded a demo titled The Bad Little Bastard. I had three songs on there and nobody, to be honest, nobody was focused on me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was focused on the Wu Tang Clan. It was focused on uh, GP Wu, Pop the Brown Hornet, KD the Download Wrecker, and June Lover. They was promoting them and trying to get them a, a contract. So you know, it's just it's just one of them things. What's for you is for you, and it's for nobody else. So they was taking meetings with labels, <coughs> shopping these guys, and the tape reversed and went over to the other side to a song called Bad Little Bastard while they was at Virgin Records. And when Bad Little Bastard came on, they said, who's this girl? Because I sounded a lot like MC Light at the time. I had that squeaky, uh, they mm -hmm. thought I was a girl. And they're like, nah, that's just my little man from the projects. Chris Cross had just came out, blew up. But I was cursing. I'm saying, fuck that shit, my dick, all this crazy shit. Oh, this, shit, this kid is, what's up with him? So they said, let's get a picture of him. But, you know, I'm light-skinned. I had the, the braids, the afro. They said, oh, he's adorable. We want to sign him. And he gave me $350,000 at 13 years old, and my life changed. Mm. Mm. Where was your parents? Let's talk about, your, you know, your dad, your mom. You know. um, at that time, my dad was serving a 15-year prison set in upstate New York. You know, anybody that been around that time, my pa's name is Rabbi. You know, if you know him, you know what I'm saying? I'm black. Indian and Cuban, so my, my dad is Cuban, so anybody that been in penitentiary knows Rabbi. Uh, my mom, she was a single mother, doing her best to take care of me, hustling, doing whatever she had to do, but then she fell victim to the same thing and she became an addict. So I was a child of uh, someone in prison serving a lengthy time and someone who was battling his drug addiction. So it allowed me free time. It allowed me time to be out in the streets past anybody all my friends curfew because mm -hmm. they had to go upstairs when the lights came on i was still outside in staples and projects sitting on the benches rapping watching the dice games and dudes giving me this when the vials was this big and they saying yeah hold these hundred vials because at that time when the police came to raid they didn't touch the kid they grabbed everybody else besides wow. the kids so i would sit there whole whole crap i would go to the store i would get the change from going to get 40s or blunt, uh, white owls and fillies at the time. I would go get them. I would keep the change. And, you know, 
at that time, then it was Dice Games, and my idol at that time was a kid by the name of Little Pooh because Pooh was young, but he was doing it. Pooh, at that time, he was older than me, but he was still young. He had a, he had a Wrangler. They had scooters, him and Butchie and all from Stapleton. These was my idols. I was like, oh, my God, like, this is what I want to be, you know, and um, that was, that was that's who I was. And then, then dudes... Because I wore big clothes because they wasn't mine. I used to have to wear my cousin Jason's clothes and my other cousin. They they started calling me the Rugged Child, and that's how mm. I got the name the Rugged Child. Can you talk about what your father got incarcerated for, or that's not? Oh, um, at that time, my father was into robberies. My father was into robberies. My uncle he was into selling a lot of weight. My uncle went on to doing about twenty something years in the federal penitentiary for for the Colombian cartel, mm. and like they was they was real. Like bank robbers, they was into that type of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. but my pops was from Park Hill, so my mom's was from Stapleton. It's mm -hmm. one of those things how the girl gets with the dude from the opposite opposing projects. And in Park Hill, I had a different relationship with the the legacy of Park Hill because my grandmother was Miss Patterson from Park Hill, and Miss Patterson, she was a, uh, a Cuban lady that didn't speak very much English, but she ran the rec room with a lot of dudes from Park Hill would say would relate to the rec room, but my great-grandmother ran the rec room. So that's how I was just like one of them that I had both sides. Mm. So I fit like right in the middle. So being with Rakim and, and with RZA, and he had both. He was from Stapleton and he represented Park Hill, you know. But at the time, Wu-Tang was strictly a Stapleton thing. And then when Ghost got involved, then it became both and then he went on to get Riz, uh Mav and all those dudes from Park Hill because our projects was arch enemies. Mm. But Wu Tang bring everybody together. Mm. And that's what you see today. Yo, so um at what age did you leave your mom to go stay with your grandparents? No, from the beginning. From when the beginning? I came home from the hospital, my mom's lived with my grandparents. Okay. We we stayed with my grandparents. I stayed with my grandparents while my mom's ran the street. Think about it. my mom's at sixteen. She ran the streets, but then my grand my grandmother died. I was ten years old. So when my grandmother died, it was a little different. Then we kind of went from house to house, staying with my aunts. You know what I'm saying? That was it because that's just what it was. When did you realize, or or, or like when did you first see, like as you got a little older? Your mom, like, or you, you kind of recognize that she was on the drugs and those type of things. Like, at what age um, did you? Well, I probably was like eleven, and we used to do this thing because y'all about my age used to think called snapping. Mm -hmm. So we'd be snapping in a little park and be like that, and then one day it was like, ah, that's why your mother's a crackhead. Mm -hmm. And it was like, huh? What was a crackhead? Just dying laughing. I'm like what? What was a crackhead? I said, oh. Shit. So I just started to observe, and then I noticed. I said, damn, that's why these. This is coming to our house all the time. They ain't saying what's up. You know, selling my mom's drugs. Mm. The same as I'm looking up to is selling my mom's drugs. You know what I'm saying? It hurt, but then when I then when I came to the park and I rapped about it, it was like, oh, he killed it. He said he killed it. He said yo, he caught his mother and the sick is buying a nickel. <laughs> loved it, so right. that gave me the confidence to rap about my pain. And that's all I ever rapped about because that's all I ever knew. Did and you? Sorry. Yeah. No, I said, and that's how On and On came about because I just, I just visualized my hood. I said, yo, I'm not gonna rap about nothing. I don't know. All I can relate to is what I see and what I go through. And at that time, I rapped. I was like a narrator. I rapped about what I seen. It wasn't me doing nothing. I was too young to do nothing. I didn't sell crack. I hold crack. The older wouldn't give me no pack. Nah, 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 nah. They just give me extra dollars to. You know, chill out. Yo, watch this, watch that. Yo, just make noise. If you know what I'm saying, you see them coming under the building. Mm. Shout us out, and that and that was me. Did you notice anything that you? So you mean to tell me why you was living with your mom and your grandparents? You didn't notice that she was on drugs. You didn't notice any patterns that clicked to you, or she was functioning. I was I was oblivious to that because I didn't have no knowledge of what that was. Respect. It wasn't until I knew what crack was, then to hear it. To be like, oh, shit, that's what, oh, crackheads, crackheads, oh, that's what a crackhead is. And then, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm like, oh, crack. And then it's like, my mom's a crack. What's crack? And, oh, that's what these are selling. So mm. it be, it's an evolutionary process. So mm. I went through the evolutionary process of learning what the f was going on around me to, to get an understanding of it. And were you, were your father, was your father communicating with you at all from prison or you didn't? Um, he used to send these, it's like these little, um, uh, 
things of 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 of, of what the f the Smurfs. Back in the days, it was like these little painted things, and it was like glass of Smurfs and shit. So we used to send them once in a while, but <laughs> I didn't know them like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Through letters, because I wasn't really into writing letters. And I had just got my, I remember it like yesterday. I, you know, I had a record deal. I'm sitting in front of the building. He had just came home, so he gets out the cab or whatever. So me and my friends are standing there. He walks up. He's like, you know who I am? So I'm looking, I'm saying, oh, What's up, Rap? I'm your father. I'm like, all right, what's up, Rap? You know what I'm saying? At this point, because, you know, I'm growing into him. Like, I'm paying bills at this point. You know what I'm saying? And it just taught me, like, real, real love and real commitment. Because at the time, like, my mom was dating. You know what I'm saying? You know how it goes. She was dating. Mm -hmm. And he's like, where's your mom's at? And I'm like, hold on, I'm going to call her. At this time, I had a cell phone. Probably one of the little niggas that had a cell phone. I had a cell phone. I had a record deal. So I call my mom and say, yo, uh, it's Rab here. He want to talk to you. Right? So they get on the phone. Like, now I understand it because I'm grown enough to see what's going on now when I look back at it. Mm. They have their conversation. That was that. You know, I already had, I had moved out the projects by this time. I had a crib. You know what I'm saying? So I go home. I wake up in the morning. This in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and he was there ever since. So he caught his next case. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's just how the ghetto shit work. Mm. He was in the house. He was in the house. He lived with us after that. <laughs> we got to talk to that. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it, right? Think about it that go away, right? Talk some old school shit as that. No, it's real <laughs> shit that happens today. Think about it. A chick dealing with a nigga, she get, a, she get 15 years. That's who she loved, but she still need her, her needs. That water needs mm. to be plant. That, that, that plants need to have water. Mm. So she fucks with whoever she but she might not be strong enough to do the bid. But when he comes home, that shit get pushed to the side. And she's back, if it's real, she's back to dealing with who her true love was. Mm. This is how it go. So he was back in the house. So back so, in the when, house. so you got your deal at, at what age again? I was 13 when I 13 signed. 13 you got your deal. Who you yeah. signed to? Virgin Records. Virgin Records. Mm. And how long did it take for you to get a, a house? Because you said you bought a house in Staten Island, I presume? Uh, well, I didn't buy a house because I didn't know to buy a house was a thing. I rented a house. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't know to buy a house. I was thinking, yo, my first thing was, yo, I got this money. Uh, We're going to move out the projects and get a house, but we rent it. And then my friends, they started, at this time, they started to sell crack. They started to sell weed and all that. So my thing with money is like, here, take the money, buy crack, buy shit, we're going to blow up. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't realize that. I kind of like hindered their life too because I put them in a position to live a lifestyle and some of them died for that shit because mm -hmm. I got my blessing and tried to pass the blessing on not knowing that I was actually destructing mm -hmm. their path. Yo, so what made you not go to Streetway though? Because you, you, you're around all that. You grew up in front of it. Like what made you not want to... Well, you know. I had a regular day. I didn't have to. I was, I, I was in the studio. Then I met Kane. I started hanging out with Big Daddy Kane. He started taking me around. You know what I'm saying? Having older chicks feed me French fries. I was gone. I, was I heard gone. that story on, on, online. Yeah. yeah, I was gone. <laughs> like, imagine, imagine, imagine being... See, people don't know because now it sucks to be an MC, young MC growing up because it's the, it's, 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 it's the substance of what it was mm. to have Big Daddy Kane Back then, 90, 91, come to your projects. And he's on fire in, right at that time. In in the red Mercedes Benz that's on Long Live the Cane. And he's picking you up in the project. And he's taking you to malls. And people were screaming for him. And mm -hmm. he got grown women. Feed my, because Cane called me his son. Feed him some French fries. <laughs> then, you know, he, Cane was a smooth operator. Mm -hmm. One of the best that ever did it. So now... The first time, I'll never forget, he bought, he bought me some silk boxes. I was so proud of these boxes. I came back to around the clan with the boxes on. Mm. Like, look at the boxes. <laughs> Can't got me silk. Silk was, was cutting me up. Oh, this got you. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it is what it is. Yo, so take us to the process before the deal, though. Like, take us through, you know, because nowadays it's a lot different with music and with artists, you know what I'm saying, like with social media and stuff. But this is, this is back, you said, like, what? 90, this is 90, 91, 92. Yeah. So, so take us through the process of you getting yourself known in the streets. Like, what, what were you doing? Shows? Were you outside um, performing? Like well, back then they used to do showcases. They used to do label showcases all around the country. You know what I'm saying? So, excuse me. When I got my um, record deal, I had to go. I had to go through Supreme Court to sign the record deal 
because you know there was young kids as for, like uh, Emmanuel Lewis, uh, 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 mm. uh, no, not McCulloch Cogan. He wasn't around yet. Um, mm. uh, um, the little um different strokes. Um, um, Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman. They got mm. jerked out of their money, yeah, so it became a law that for you had parents, to go right? through. You had to go through Supreme Court mm. to sign a contract and anything you had to deal with. So when I went to Supreme Court, um. My lawyers were saying that they wanted to be uh, the guardians over my finances, but the judge he stipulated that as long as my mother's alive, that he's not yeah. going to grant that. Mm. But what he did for me, and probably was the best thing he could do for me, he said that half of all my earnings must be put in a trust fund until I'm the age of 21. Mm. So. Everything that I made, half of that went into a trust fund that I wasn't able to touch until I turned to the age of 21. That's good. Yeah. But like, what happened before that, though? Like, How did you get to that deal, though, and to, to that? Well, I told you. The song was on the tape. It rolled over. Virgin said we want them. And that was it. After the picture. Yeah, I got I got, I got that, that That easy. That was it. That was it. Okay. I mean, it doesn't happen to everybody like that, right, but right. that was it. And at the same time, the clan happened to be... Um, Rizzo was just leaving Tommy Boy because I used to go with him up to Tommy Boy okay. and seeing him, you know, fighting to get, you know what I'm saying? And then he, he done away with that and started the independent thing with the Wu-Tang Clan. So around that same time, I had my deal already. So Rizzo produced on my album, so he was paid to produce on my album. And some of that funds went to promoting and pushing Wu-Tang. But since they was adults, they didn't have those restrictions. Right. So they dropped Protect Your Neck and it took off. Mm. And then it seemed to the world that they came back and grabbed the little and put them on. Mm. But I had my record deal already. I was just in the process yo, of coming yo, yo, out. Pardon me. Yo, Jonathan, you want to switch with him? Because they be complaining. The fans complain when they <laughs> guests be on the phone. <laughs> Right, I'm telling you, they complain like, "Yo, his man on the phone." They say that in the comments. So if you want to switch with him, you oh, could. For real, bro. That's serious, yeah, because you on camera, like you right on camera. Oh my fault. And it's and it's, it's zoom. Just <laughs> just the joint. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying you could switch with the big homie, so you could you could be right there and you could text and all that stuff. But when you on the phone, we had a lot of complaints about that. Nah, but other I people. Right, nah, you're not violating. You know, I'm just saying if you want to switch with the homie, so nah, you. you right. Yeah. I'm gonna switch, yeah, switch. Yeah, switch, yeah. switch the big homie. Oh, I did. Yeah, that's I'm the not gun. Gonna pass this joint around. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see up this joint? You have issues. Oh, you drop it. Crazy. Yes, hey. How you do it? <laughs> yeah. This coke, coke, coke does a lot of good. Yo, this coke. is definitely. You guys, you guys are, you guys are, you guys are funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Sense of humor save your life. Yeah, he I said agree. that. Oh, look, look. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh. That's. <laughs> Ah! You put it in the over there. Yo, look, yo, 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 chill out. Yo, chill out, man. Yo, get out of here, man. Yo, I'm switching back then. So, so, okay, so, when, so now you got a deal, things are moving. You said you rented a house, right? Yeah. Um, Pops is in the house. Yeah, he, yeah, when I woke up in the morning, he was there. He was, it was like baby boy. In the, I was like, in the kitchen. How did y'all relationship want some, want some go from there? Like, what what was the relationship like? Because you know he wasn't there for a while. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you know I know sometimes fathers could come home and they want to. I'm your father still. The old school niggas. I'm still your father at the end of the day. You know, yeah. was he like that? Was he that parent? You got to show me some respect. He, he he was, but I I already had that respect. I was a kid mm. that always had that respect. That's I was Ill. sore for my grandmother to respect your parents no matter what happens, no matter what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, my mom's got high in the hood, but she ain't had to sell no ass to get high. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I knew what she was buying when she asked me for some change, but I'ma still give it to her, and she gonna go do what the fuck she wanna do, and that's just what it is, mm. because I'm not gonna have her out there like that. So if she's gonna be, choose her choice, and that's her choice, mm -hmm. she gonna be fly doing that. Hold on, that's hold what on. it is. Uh, so that didn't that didn't bother you, like you know, you giving your mom's money and you know what she's gonna do, honestly. I mean, in retrospect, she gonna, listen, man, people gonna do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? And 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 how I look at it now, right. right? Because I'm older. Crack was the Molly, crack mm -hmm. was the e pills of our times. That was the cool thing to be doing. That's what they was doing. So, but. Be, be, I may not like a situation, any situation I come into. I may not like it, but I respect them for who they are and what they stand for. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They may do things differently than me. 
They might not have done it the way I may have done it, but I'm not going to judge them for doing it because I'm not wearing their shoes at that moment of why they made their choice. And so I'm in that person's shoes. I can't, I can't say nothing about it. Mm. I may have my personal views and to think, oh, yo, yo, I may be, you know, in this situation, like, yo, I be like, yo, I never do that. I never do that. I never do that. But son, how you know what you're going to never do to these, to you in that shoes until you putting them on your feet? Mm. You can't, you can't really say nothing about nothing. Now, if you was in that situation and you did otherwise, then okay, you can say what you would do, but that's you. You can't expect somebody to do as you do. Because I come to your house, I come here, and you know what I'm saying? Or I come to somebody's house, and I'm like, oh, I'm a, I just grew up that way. I come to somebody's house, uh, yo, let me bring some milk. They might need some bread. Let me bring some milk. Here y'all go. Hmm. These same people might come to my house and not bring me nothing. But I can't judge them for that because I can't expect them to do how I do. I'm right. not going to change how I am because you're not like that. Mm. What do you think would have happened if, if, if you would have tried to stop her from doing that, though? You think she would have like... That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? My mom's went to a thousand rehabs. Mm. Ten-day programs, 30-day programs. My mom's did two state bids up north. People do what they want to do. Mm. By the time I came to do my bid, the CEOs already knew my mom's. Oh, yo, you mama woo, son. Hey, yo, I love your mother. Wow. Dudes in the street that I didn't like and didn't like me had a respect for my mother. So after she passed, we became cool because at her funeral, they showed up regardless of what we had. So it made me look at them different and have a different respect for them. Mm. How how did she pass away? My mother OD'd off her own. Okay, so she went, So at what age? How old were you when this happened? This was 2009. Okay. And she... Because she was doing crack, then she went to heroin? Like, See, I never knew she was on heroin. Okay. I thought she was on crack. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I knew she was on crack, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And at that time, you know, like, it is what it is, you know? And um, she was doing what she do. You know, my mom would be out. She would grab a and they have some money. My mom was the best at it. You know what I'm saying? She will sell a nickel for $50. She was one of those. Like, everybody, listen, everybody got my moms in their hood. Mm. Everybody got me in their hood. They got a rugged child in their hood. So, like, I just embrace it, man. It's, it's nothing to feel no way about. I'm living life. I'm learning. But did you grow up not to, like, did you learn not to feel away? Because initially, you know, I'm pretty sure that you didn't, you you wasn't not feeling away at the time. Yeah, but what do you do when a motherfucker tell you, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do? There's nothing you can do. That's it. Yeah. I bought you in this world I take you out. That's the conversation I had. And you're still young at the time too, so yeah. it ain't much. Ain't no. yeah. <laughs> like it'd be times like, yo, not for nothing. I had accountants and, shit, and they'd be like, they calling me. Oh man, your mother's here raising hell. She wants five thousand dollars. Mm. What are we gonna do? Give it to her. Give it to her. It means nothing. Would I would have liked for her to get off of it? Yeah, I would have. You know, I, I thought about moving. I said, you know what, f*** that, I'm going to move my mom. I did it. We moving to Jersey. We moving to Jersey. Thought I was doing big things. Bayonne, New Jersey, nice house. We out of here from Staten Island. My moms will walk over the f***ing bridge to be to Staten Island. Mm. So I'm like, what the f*** was this for? So you try it. No, but it's a difference. It's one thing going around people you don't know that know your dirty secrets than be the f at home when people know what it is already. So I came home. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here around the people that understand me. They understand my history because they was around for it. Mm -hmm. It's different. Wow. Wow. So you got a deal. Moving is shaking. When does, how long does it take for you to get the Wu-Tang situation popping? That was like I explained earlier, mm -hmm. Ninth Prince, my best friend, was Riz's little brother. Mm -hmm. I was Wu-Tang from the gate. Got it. I was Wu-Tang when Wu-Tang wasn't Wu-Tang. When Wu-Tang was beer, you just be like, yo, drink some Wu juice. This is this project slang. Mm -hmm. I was already Wu-Tang. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Before Rakim had his record deal on Tommy Boy. 
Before Wu Tang was Wu Tang, I was Wu Tang. Yeah. It's not one of them stories. Like, you know, it's not one of them stories, like I say, where he came back and said, oh, this is nice for my project. We're going to put them on. Nah. I was mm. through the whole ride. Mm. That's why me and Rizza had the relationship we have. You know what I'm saying? That's why me and uh, 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 Meth had the relationship we had. I was there. I was just, I was just a little. You see the go, uh, Spectre Decker say if you go to the BET, he'd be like, "Yo, Sha was too young to be in Wu Tang, but we had to rock with Sha mm. because nobody was f-ing with him at that time, doing what he was doing." It's just the truth. Did you? Did life happen so fast during that time? Are you young? You got to deal three hundred. 50,000 or 300,000, 350,000, and you know, now you got girls, women, whatever, you're getting fed french fries. And yeah, yeah, sure. Mama yeah. love outside. That was it, because I was up. short. I remember being in school and it'd be girls, on my, and my boys was, all my boys is tall. So it would be like, yo, what's up with my man? You call me, my name was Boom. My real name is Shaheem, that's my birth name. Mm-hmm. My mama name is Shaheem, but my nickname around the neighborhood was Boom Boom, you know what I'm saying? So I said, what's up with my boy Boom? Oh, he's cute, but he's just too short. Right? You know what I'm saying? I was like five three trying to shoot I used to shoot the ball like Bill Cartwright. Like that, right? That's how I used to shoot the ball, right? So I get my record deal, I go on the promotional tour. By the time I come home, my record's on the radio. The video's playing. I get off the plane, people was like, Oh, let me get your autograph, right? Yo, this is the funniest shit to me in the world so I'm laughing I'm like what you want me to do they like sign your name on the paper and I'm just like what really like I'm <laughs> laughing so my man's just like you you can't be laughing at people I said yo but it's funny I don't know why I gotta sign this paper why can't I just say what's up and keep it moving <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying so I started signing autographs and then I didn't know that once you back then once you sign one autograph it'll be a crowd of 50 people and you're standing there all day mm-hmm. signing fucking autographs when did the um how soon after that did the did the uh 95 freestyle joint happen that happened because again like i said i used to roll with kane mm-hmm. and before kane did the budweiser superfest tour because that's what that was a part of kane i used to go to kane's house and kane would have everybody over there Freestyling. Omar Epps was rapping. This before he got juice. He wow. was a rapper. You had Jay Z. You had all uh Queen Latif. Everybody Kane is like a nuclear to so many people's careers. Mm. And everybody would be in his backyard rapping. And they used to be like, yo, you can spit you you spit four bars and the last word you say, the next person gotta spit. And this is what's training me. You know what I'm saying? He trained me. He used to show me all his tour tapes of his performance. So that showed me the performance, him and Scrap, that showed me how I should be on stage in my presence. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot from that dude. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, so that's how that came about. He took me on the tour mm-hmm. all around this, the Phoenix, L.A., like, like uh, what do you call that, a country tour, a nationwide tour? Mm-hmm. And New York was the last tour, the last spot. And we did Madison Square Garden. And I didn't know so many people from around my way would be there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I came out, you know, my first words, yo, where's Staten Island at? Mm-hmm. This was Staten Island, all my people was in Staten Island. Because Staten Island wasn't known at that time. Right. So, and I, I perform, I go home the next day, I wake up, I go to the store, and everybody was there. He said, yo, you was on Madison Square Garden stage with King. That was just so big, you know. And for Staten Island, like, you know, people don't talk about it, but I was the first to do a lot of from Staten Island. Mm. I was the first to be in movies. I was the first to touch real TV. I was the first to have a real major record deal at my age. You want Staten? Yeah. You dropped the album in 94, right? Yeah, a.k.a. The Rugged Child. And when you dropped the album, what changed then? Because now you, doing a promo tour is different from dropping the album. Yeah. What? Where Where you at then when after you dropped the album? It's notoriety. Mm. It's notoriety. It's like I tr- tried to go back to school. 
but it was just it was just out of control. They said, "Yo, you can't come to school no more. They got to get you a tutor because you cannot be in school." Mm. I'm in class. Chicks is at the door. Bang, 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 bang. The same chicks that I just was in the eighth grade with <laughs> is too, at the short, at the math back. class banging on the door. I had to stop going to school. So what you got home tutoring? Yeah, I had a tutor. Yeah. Did you really finish the shit? No. <laughs> Because this is what happens. Ooh, Imagine doing this, right? Imagine doing this. Mm -hmm. You get up in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning. They saying you got to do four hours of school. After the four hours of school, you don't get no breaks. It's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One o'clock, you're in the studio session. One to seven. After one to seven, you got to do a couple of interviews. After that, I'm getting back in the home about two o'clock in the morning. I got to get up seven o'clock. I mm. mean, like. There was millions of times I said, you know what, I quit. F this shit, man. I'm just, I, I just. Hmm. When, now, you moving and shaking, you in Staten Island, right? Yeah. And you get into incidents. Like, when do yeah. things start getting thick in the streets, outside? When do things start getting thick outside? Pause. Because <laughs> gotta say things, that, start, things started to change in that, in that fashion because... Me, personally, I'm just being me. So I'm celebrating me. I'm wearing Rolexes, big chains. I'm a little guy. Got 50,000 eyes on my neck in the 90s. That's a lot. Rolex rings, Rolex chains. But in my mind, everybody on Staten Island is family. Mm. I was naive. Mm. I looked at it like... like before I got my record deal, everyone pushed me. Sha, 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 sha. Then they got money, then he's like. And around that time, all my cousins that was in the streets, they started to get bids. 103 years, 25 years, mm. 7 to 21. All my family sent away. So it left me just around people that really wasn't for me. I want to keep it 100 with you real quick. I have to keep it 100. You have to. You know what I'm saying? Initially, you know, and shout out to Shaquel because he cleared it up. Oh, that's my big bro. Yeah, he told me to call I met Shaquel. Shaquel was with my pops. Yeah, but let me say this. When when you first, when they first hit me up, like not yeah. people was putting your name, somebody tried to say you told, right? Yeah. And Shaquel, you know, actually, he, he he just he texted me, and you know, he said you never told him the dude that you had. I don't want to. I don't have to say his name unless you're comfortable with me saying it. You didn't tell him the dude, but the, he said that the dude turned blood because after the dude cut you, he turned blood in prison because you had a lot of family out there and your fa in in prison, and your family was gonna go to work for, for you. Listen, this is the thing, right? That's what Shaquel told me. This is this is the reality. But they man. tried to hold on. Let me no. say this. They tried to make it seem like you told it was a rumor. Rightfully so. Yeah. Right. Rightfully mm -hmm. so. Whatever with that. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this. I wasn't selling drugs. I wasn't in the street. I was a fucking rapper. Mm. If my mother walks to the streets every day, going to work, or your father's working every day, going to work, or doing whatever they doing, and somebody decides to rob them and bring harm to them, and they go to are they a rat? They're not a Rat. Mm, true. I didn't sell drugs with nobody. I didn't do robberies with nobody. We didn't get caught and I said he did that shit. That's a fucking rat. Mm. That's it. And even after all that, because that you know, that's how people talk. I went to state prison and yeah, what's up? I never signed in the PC, never was in PC, in general population, in maxes, in mediums, disciplinary gyms. If if you don't like it, if you want to jack that, then jack it. Mm. If not, because I'm going to tell a nigga, mind your fucking business. Because this is what happens, right? People that's in between, even the dudes that's involved with that situation, we speak. I call it right now. Because he grew. He grew, I grew. But people in between try to keep that going. Mm -hmm. And if, a, if, if the universe ain't put us in touch, for him to reach out to me, for him to respect my growth, for them to respect my growth and be like, yo, bro, I'm not on that. I was immature. We was wrong. And ownership for they so where we can have a conversation. But people in between are trying to keep you 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 on that level. We ain't on that time. So I don't give a fuck with a thing. Think that shit, try it, we're gonna see what happens. That's just what it is. Mm. I'm on go time. 
all the time. Then I wasn't because I wasn't that person. After going through that, and and really, you know me, I have I have to thank more for making me tougher. I have to thank more for making me see the reality of life. I seen reality. We talking two thousand and one. I did my first bid. I'm in Franklin downstate. These are disciplinary jails. When it was really heavy on gang banging, mm -hmm. when it was one gang, it wasn't all these different sets. So if you had beef with one, you had beef with all. Mm -hmm. Still ain't signing. This is what it is. And to go through all of that and to be able to have conversations, adult conversation with more and seeing their growth because the person I am today, and I'm glad we had that because the person I am today and I'm looking at a that was my enemy, I'm thinking I'm going to kill these and think the universe for him saying, yo, it's not like that. And me saying, yo, you know what? And me being able to have empathy of the position they was in, then I understood. I said, how can I bring all this honey to a neighborhood and ain't got nothing? But instead of them saying, saying, yo, how can we push him and support him and make him better? You went against me. But it don't matter because you got to go through what you got to go through until so you get here today. The thing is that when we interviewed Mano, Mano said the same thing as far as growth. Uh, the guy that, you know, he had a situation with, and he said the same thing. We just interviewed him. Remember, G? Mm -hmm. He was talking about that. And he said that the guy, they saw each other in a jewelry store, and, you know, they leave, left the past in the past. So it takes a lot to grow. No, because once you realize who your enemy is, mm. he's not my enemy. These fucking cops that's killing everybody is my enemies. These devils is my enemies. You my brother. If we can't sit down and talk out any differences, then let's stay away from each other. Mm -hmm. But I'm not trying to hurt you, bro. Because when I watch the interview, you know, so it, and now I can see, I can put things together because it showed that when you was reluctant to talk, obviously you and the, the gentleman squash whatever. Yeah, so it was like, there. how do I talk about something that we put under the rug? Understood. Yeah, now I understood because I was watching. I'm like, man, why should I? Even? I was watching it today. Like, why you yeah. talk about what what happened? You know what I'm saying? All I know that you was in, in the club and like you said that you were shining and you know things uh, went left. But yeah, but there's more situations to that too because that's, okay. that's 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 like I'm from a certain part of projects, right? Mm -hmm. From a certain town, Respect. and certain things happen between certain individuals that happened in my town. So then it was just like, get somebody from there. Ah. You know what I'm saying? And I just happened to be that somebody from there. And that's somebody with a name. And that's somebody, you know what I'm saying? And and rightfully so. I don't hold nothing against nobody. But I didn't do none of that. So that's, so that's, so that's, you, I, I respect that. So that's the thing is that at that time you wasn't in the streets. At all. Ha, I had a record there. I got a record there at 14. Which streets was I in? Exactly. So you, you you consider yourself a citizen, basically. Yeah. Nah, I respect I, I I'm a citizen. right? I'm on parole right now. But see, now it's different because <laughs> I'm on parole right now. But I'm still a citizen. Yeah, you know you what I'm saying? Um, you know, and and see, it's just, it's just, it's, just, it's so much. No, I understand. It's so it, intricate to it. Basically, what I got from it, let me just say this, is that it was a neighborhood issue. And yeah. you, were the, you were the victim. Like, meaning like. Yeah. We can't get nobody. We're going to get him on top of you being a, in a good situation. Yeah. Because as you being a young age, I can't, when they say neighborhood issue, I can't see you being involved in that issue. Were you yeah. personally involved in the issue or you just no. a, you were just a casualty of war? I knew them. I knew them. Ah. I knew these people. It's not like I didn't know I'm going to spot and I don't know them. I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? What's up? And just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, oh, shit. and let's keep this 100. I still didn't lose. Hmm. I still didn't lose for several niggas. It wasn't one. It was several. I still didn't lose respectfully. You didn't check in, but when a rumor like that comes, how do you handle something like that? Honestly, it's just being real. It's being real. Cause I'm going to tell you mind your business. You don't want to mind your business. Now this, this has nothing to do with me and these issues. What's up? Me and you now. Mm -hmm. Now it becomes your problem with me. 
Were you okay with pr in prison because of your family? I heard you had a lot of family in there. A lot of a lot, a lot of, of family. family. Yeah, I have a lot of family. I'm part of Nation of Guards and Nerves. Mm. A lot of people that represent. See, it's relationships. Like I said, I knew Shaquel. I met Shaquel before he went up north. Him and my pops was cool together. Yeah, they used to call my phone. Yeah, he said that. Shaquel got. He's big. Yeah. So when you got Shaquel. I'm not going to say what he was doing or what he would have did mm -hmm. to make sure I was all right or to make sure it sizzled, but that's my big bro. He said that, yeah. That's it. So it puts, it's just, it is what it is. When you look at situations like, and, and I'm, I'm going to move on from it because I don't want to, when you look at situations like, because like I told you, that yeah. when the announcement came, not before, when they like interviewed, people was trying to reach me, like, yo, Flip, hold on. Take this information. That's why yeah. I said earlier, I'm gonna get at you. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, yeah. Respect, respect, you know what I mean? Because it, it, it's, oh, it's love. But listen. what I'm gonna ask you is that, even with situations like that, like six nine or whatever, in those situations with people with him telling, do you think that people should mind their business? Absolutely. Oh, because because listen, you don't know my. N How the f it's it's cool to say, yo, I'm real. I ain't never going. And today saying, yo, you know what? Here's 300 years, buddy. You don't know what you're going to do until you're in a situation. Not saying it's right or not saying it's wrong for what that man did. But he did what worked for him. So he got to deal with whatever comes from that himself. It's not on me to judge him. Like, mm. law does the judging. It's not me. Mm. It's not me. Would I do a crime with him? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not me to judge him. Mm. And if it got something to do with business and I'm going to make a dollar, call me the f up. Because <laughs> the n that's talking this sh don't give a f either. Mm. Nobody cares. Yo, listen, you know what I mean? Niggas don't know that lost their life for a project or that niggas don't even go check on mm. their mother right now. Mm. But use the excuse that they dead to get drunk every year. They just out there getting drunk because they want to get drunk anyway, but they just going to use that as a shoot. Rest in peace to my mm. But they don't look out for his kids. They don't look out for his mother. They don't do nothing. All that shit is fake shit. I don't so, want none real. of that. That's real. And that's what I heard, like, even Troy Ave say. He said the streets are over. Uh, the streets is not really what people make it seem like it is. That's why I love the guards. Because we not friends. We brothers. We brothers. You know what I'm saying? My brother got an issue, I got an issue. And my brother don't got to ask me because I'm an observer. So if I'm chilling with my brother and I'm looking at his sneakers, I'm like, damn, those kind of fucked up. I'm not going to wait for him to ask me for some money to get some new sneakers. Mm. I'm just going to take him to get some new sneakers. But when you were younger, did you look at how we look at things? Like, yo, tell me I don't like that. We no, that me. wasn't my, I didn't give a, this, bro, let me explain something to you. Then you, then you Imagine advanced. being 14 years old <laughs> with a ATM card that I, dude I didn't have that life at all I'm not gonna pretend to you like I did I didn't I didn't have that life I didn't up until that time yeah I struggled I ate, ate, ate sugar bread I drank uh, a syrup bread I drank sugar water mayonnaise and just water was in my refrigerator but once it happened blink it changed I had chains. I didn't wear hand-me-downs no more. I had rachis. I had this. I had that. Girls like me. I'm fucking hanging out all over the fucking world. I'm coming back to the hood. I may have been in the neighborhood when that happened. I was only around for the holidays. That's the only reason I was there, because I was coming back home for the holidays. I was on tour. How old were you at the time this happened? This time I had, uh, probably like 18. Oh, wow. I was just doing Parenthood at the time. I'm on mm. W fucking B with a fucking major fucking contract. What? What? But, but, you, but I take my glasses off to this like Try today. <laughs> Anybody. Steve, come on, man. <laughs> nah, it's try today. And not saying... Um son and the people that was involved in that yeah, not saying yeah, them because that, yeah. because there's no malice towards yeah, that well, because like literally I mean I'm not into show and tell but yeah. I call him right now we speak 
and we understand the position that we both hold. So it's like, why fight when we can build and we can make something better? So that's where we at. And I'm not trying to let anybody for what they 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 what they think or or they they opinion on some. Shit. They think you don't like it. Pop, do something. Because because we sat down at the end of the day. This would don't get fucked up. Because if we were the bum heads in the system, me and him, and a n from somewhere else was going against me, mm -hmm. he riding with me. Stand. Because we going back to Staten Island together. Mm -hmm. We handle that shit when we get to Staten Island. But right now, we got an issue to handle. That's what it is. The thing is, you was rapping about a lot of shit, so people, you know. Well, think about it. I didn't say, even then, I didn't say I did it. I was a narrator. Times is getting hard, and I swear to God, I even got coach trying to steal. Like, I didn't say I'm holding the steel. I said they holding the steels. I was a narrator. Mm -hmm. When did I ever say me? It wasn't until Man Child album that I started that because at that point, yeah, I was I was in WA with Nazi Shot Glizzy, and I got caught with an L.A. cop's gun then. So I rapped about it. I got cut. I rapped about it. I went up sweat for a robbery I didn't do, so I rapped about it. Then it became my life. It's a difference. Mm -hmm. But when you grow up in a, in, in, in when you in the entertainment business and you're growing up at the same time, people can't separate the two. I'm the same person, but I was living both lives. The thing is, so it, was it like, do you feel like you kind of became a a product of the environment? Because like, you know, what I mean is that got a deal, you're doing good. You just came back for the holidays. Just came back for the holidays to see the, and that happened. You consider it is hating because you, you didn't have anything to indirectly do with the situation of niggas you were around probably or you was associated with and then like from then from being cut and whatever happened after that does your life change does your view on things change does yeah because I, I what happened was I just looked at it like oh this ain't for me these ain't my brothers. Everybody that was real didn't step up and kill nobody. Hmm. So I said, yo, what the f*** going on? But y'all all knew each other, you said. And you just said, yeah. what up? You, and you said, yeah, what up to yeah. them in the club? Yeah, but at the same time, I'm still from a certain project. Uh. So these n***as from my projects ain't gonna kill nothing or let nothing die. So I had to start looking at them different. Mm. Like, why y'all ain't do nothing? What the f*** is going on? But it's, it's 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 evolution, and you have to grow. And as you grow, you start to see things different. While you in it, it, it looks a situation looks totally different while you in it. Then once you step outside of it and able to look back, I see it clearly now. Now I see it clearly. I was like, oh, shit, damn, that's that's shit crazy. Oh yeah, well I should have been more smart enough to do this or do that, or but I didn't, cause I didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? And and rightfully so, they probably didn't know no better neither. They was doing the best that they could do or what they thought was the right thing to do. Mm. And we both did that. And we mm. all did that. I wasn't the only casualty ab about it. Don't think that I was just, that this happened like that. There's people that died and lost their lives. And there's people with family that, that ain't here no more. So you niggas that want to gossip and all that, just look what's at stake. But just know that the indiv individual that's involved, we not falling for that bullshit. We got bigger and better plans. Yeah, I so talk that. that shit. You know what I'm saying? I and, respect uh, that. SMD. If you don't like it, what's happening? Oh Lord, oh God. <laughs> no, for real. That's just what I'm saying. Because, I'm saying but that, but that's how we, it goes. Though, because we, we grown. Mm -hmm. We grown. We not kids. So we dealing with people who got kids now, and you mm -hmm. trying to hold them up because of some shit that's twenty something years old. Yeah, that's what happened. This ain't. Yesterday, we talking the 90s, late 90s, 90, 97. We both are different people. Everybody involved is different. Respect. You know what I'm saying? And it's not fair because a lot of people lose their life like that by listening to the gossip, listening to what people think, and it'd be some old shit to wear. It's like, just imagine this, right? Imagine we didn't have this, uh, me and the people involved didn't have this conversation. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know how they feel. I'm feeling how I'm feeling. But really, you changed and you you doing the right thing. You working. You taking care of your kids and all that. But I'm still on the time like I'm a killer, and I come and kill you. And in your heart, there was no malice no more. I'm wrong. Mm. We have to be men and we have to sit down and say, yo, listen, listen, what's up? Are we doing this? What are we doing? It's lit? All right. Because I'm strapped. I'm not going to do nothing to you right now. Next time you see me, be prepared, my nigga. Because that's how I'm on it. I catch a nigga 20 deep and he by himself. I'm not going to do nothing to the nigga. He losing. But I'm going to tell him, next time, be prepared. That's it. Mm-hmm. We're not going to jump you. League ain't going to knock your head off right now. Because he can do that. But next time, be prepared, my nigga. Because you're not going to get this pass. Then whatever happens, happens. When do people get a pass? When they're with their children, their parents? When they're with their with they, with they, with they wife? When they're with their mothers? But you got, you got, you got to act, pardon me for cutting you, but you got to ask yourself, if the situation was on the other, serious, on the other foot. Oh, okay. where Didn't people it, can't yeah. get no pass, mother, father, mm-hmm. whoever, hands on. So, he said that you're somebody that's known, yes? Yes. Mm-hmm. But, but, but what is he? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> slow down, slow down, big OG. Slow what are you known that. for, sir? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you known for? Well, number one, you know, I've been there, done that already. You know, watched a lot of people come, watched a lot of people go. Did time. You know, I'm out helping the community. Talking to young brothers and sisters, it's not worth it. You from Staten too? I'm from Staten, Wild West, West Brighton. Mm -hmm. You know. How much time did you do? How much time? I did 15. 15, can you tell us what you did 15 for? Well, it's like this. If you want to keep it street, we keep it street. You know? Don't talk that gangster and then next thing you know, you telling. You know what I'm saying? That's not street. You just propaganda trying to be trying to trying to be somebody you, you're not. Mm. You know? So I kept it street, still keeping it street. Hmm. And that's what made me do 15 years. OG, but well, what you mean kept this tree? OG, what were you involved in, OG? I, I, yeah. Well, 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 uh. it, sometimes it's not meant to be spoke about. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, if, if, if I'm doing big numbers like that, obviously, you know, mm-hmm. you know, we have to look at the ground and just say, how you doing down there? Oh, <laughs> chill, chill, chill. You know? Talking that talk. So you you, you you grew up in Staten Island as well. Yes. And and at a young age, were you into any gangs or anything? Or did they, did they have gangs back then? I mean, I don't know how old you are. You look like an older guy. Like, what were you into? I'm at a great age right now. <laughs> can you share it with us or no? Huh? Can you share it with us? Yeah, I can share it with you. How old are you? I'm 50. Okay, oh, so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 5-0. So you... Jordan left on us. I didn't even know he left. Oh. oh. So, you're, so you're 50 years old. Right. And back in your Old days, old school. <laughs> back in, back in your days, what were you into? Real quick before we get into, what were you into? Well, you know, you know, back when I was growing up, you know, it's all about you know the parents. If you got in trouble, your parents wouldn't beat you. Somebody else caught you, they mm-hmm. would beat you. You would have respect for the next person's mother, father, grandmother, right? Because you know they're telling on you. Not now. Nah, <laughs> you would be in the house before the street lights come on. Ain't none of that now. There's no such thing you messing up in school. Mm. You know, a lot of things that we grew up on, the next stages don't have no respect. They didn't have no nothing for nothing right now. So this is what I mean when I be in the community trying to help, you know, my young brothers and sisters and stuff like that. Good guy, man. Oh, you know? okay. oh, gee, if you don't, you got the horns? let me see the horns. Oh, gee, if you, if you, if you, if you don't stop it, man. <laughs> like, what, 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 what were you in? Did you, did you grow up with both parents? No, this, you got the I, other one. I, I grew up with both of my parents. Okay, you know, my father separated. 
after a while. Mm-hmm. You know, my uncles was in, you know, motorcycle gangs and stuff like that. So it was real. Okay, and, and what was the name of those gangs? The Buffalo Soldiers. Okay. Well, my uncle died about four years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, his name was Brooks. Mm-hmm. You know, last name Jacobs. And um, you might have heard of my cousin. His name's Scott Free. I heard of him. Yeah, that's my cousin. Okay. Right, he used to work for Loud Records. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know... We just, you know, we just happy. That's it. We just mm-hmm. happy trying to be happy. That's all it's all about right now. It's not all about, you know, war and stuff like this. We trying to make peace. Every, you know. But that's what it's about right yeah. now. Yeah, because yeah, Corona's already doing, putting in that work. Brothers mm-hmm. ain't seeing that right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you, when you were younger, it wasn't about that. It wasn't about that. What was it about? Like robbery? Like what? Well, you know, you know kidnapping? what? Kidnapping? I, 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 I never was into stuff like that. What? What really? Nah, but I have a brother that was. But you was into hustling. There you go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Eighty-two, eighty-three. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. So why did people respect you? Because when he, he Shaheem talked highly like, about you, like, like I said, you? I I've been there and I've done that. I I I know a lot of the people that was out there. I know the you know some of the people that he was talking about. You know. A lot of his family I ran with. Mm. We was in jail together. You know, we looked out for each other. That's 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 what he's talking about. You know, see a law, understanding. You know, guilt. There's a there's a lot of us. You know, we we at a young age we experienced what we shouldn't have went through, but we did go through. You know what I'm saying? Point blank. Mm. Okay. You know, so it's like I didn't shot people, I didn't beat up people, I didn't did this. You didn't do what? I'm sorry. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so like I said, I've been through it. I'm a changed brother. Respect. Mm. What year did you come home? I came home in 2001. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that little laugh. Funny guy. Yo, tell <laughs> us something about. Yo, t- t- tell us something about Staten Island that that's, that may be different from like Queens or Harlem or the Bronx or oh, like we the lost ball. We got to go extra hard. No, nah, I'm right. just saying. Yeah, so like, what's what's the vibe out there, man? You know what I'm saying? But for, for, for oh, those, I like that question, G. For those who didn't grow up, because you know a lot of people glorify the other boroughs a lot more. It, it, you know, so like, what, what's the difference between Staten? I Island? understand what you're saying. You know, that was just like you know when I was in jail, I bumped into a lot of people. Cormega, Nature. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, 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 Minister Black. Uh, there's a lot of people, rappers out here mm-hmm. that, you know, they've been to Staten Island on a drive through but they never really hung out there on right. Staten Island. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of rappers that came from Staten Island, but, oh, I'm from Brooklyn, or I'm from Queens, or I'm from... Nah, but, you know, Staten Island was repping hard. Mm-hmm. Straight up and down. We rep and we stay repping. You know, it's just that we didn't get the publicity that, you know, because we wasn't from Brooklyn House or we didn't have uh, our own borough jail but off the kill. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So. What went on out there, though, back in the days? Because, you know, we hear about, you know, crack was in, uh, you know, we hear about the, like, who, it was their top hustlers, like, out here, yeah, but the Rich Porters, the Alpo, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. The Staten we, Island happened. We, 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 we had Barry Blues. We had some, we had some we had people out niggas. there. That's, all, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to see. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know about, you know, I, I drove through before, too, but I never, like, Facts. I don't know anybody that's, you know, I go visit there and kind of hang out there to know, like, the vibe out there, or, you know what I'm saying? Well, a lot of people got, said shit. <laughs> you know, a lot of people passed out there, you know, big drug dealers and stuff like that. A lot of them got smoked. A lot of them dusty, hundred something years. You know, Jamaican dude came there, made it happen. Mm. <laughs> made it happen. See, because Staten Island is like Staten Island is in the city, but it's still far, far enough that you know what goes for a ten dollar bag in Harlem or Brooklyn. You come to Staten Island, that same bag that's twenty dollars. That's right. That's mm. still OT money right over the ferry. Mm. Mm. So dudes is competing for that money. 
You know, it's then, still out of town then, prices on Staten Island. Then other parts of Staten Island, you still got crackers uh, trying to hang black people. What? Mm. See, see, yeah. they really don't talk about stuff like that. That's what I want to hear because I, I don't you know, know much saying? about Staten. You know what I'm saying? What you want to hear? No, not like that, that in particular. That. Like that. Not that in particular. But I want to hear more, <laughs> more information about. You know, I want to hear Can more. We live right now. Nah. Huh. Oh, I was just wondering. I don't know. Because oh. <laughs> you said people was on the chat saying this nigga was on his phone. Oh, you freestyling? No, 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 no. no Get no, out no, that no. thing. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was when you were on the phone, we had somebody else, a guest here, two guests, mm -hmm. and they mans were sitting there on the phone, and the fans complained about it. Or sleeping. Oh, so you or sleeping. sleeping. Yeah. You smart. You sharp. Yeah. No, I was you letting him know that people are gonna complain mm -hmm. about oh. it. And it takes away. I don't know how. I guess when they're watching it, he's sitting so right I next to you on the phone. Shit. I my it, shit it, it, it distracts. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. yeah, that's so what, what it is. What, 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 what was they saying about me? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, 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 we're not, no, we're not live. We're not live. Oh, okay. No, we're not live. No, 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 yeah. We're not live, OG. We're saying before we post it, because sometimes the, the, the guests are bringing a, a plus one. You know, they sit there, mm -hmm. they're on the phone, like you said, or they're they talking on the side, or they fall asleep, and then it's on camera. So now we post the show up. And then they're like, yo, your man was the, you know, they clowning them in the comments. And it's like, we look like we set you up. Right, right, yeah. right. So we like, yo, look, go sit over there. Because the guests get mad. Like, yo, why you ain't terrible? Because you, you know, sometimes the guests are so invested into the interview, they're not looking to the side to see if their man is on the phone. Yeah. Or if their man is falling asleep. Well, you see how I'm doing it. I'm like this. I'm looking at y'all. Then I'm looking at him. <laughs> I'm looking at y'all, you know? You gotta get one? I can't get one before I get it. You gotta get one first, though, man. You gotta get what? What's that? You gotta get first, then uh, second. I like that guy. Like you, like you like that guy? Oh, shit, talk to him. He cool, he cool. Why are you talking to him, G? What I wanna know is, G Money, why is it over there, baby? Why is the speaker drinking it? Oh, dear. Fill up. Uh, uh, shit. Cause G Money, you know I like G Money too. I, I can tell. And G Money's the DJ. I said, Dig Money, guess what's up? I need a DJ. <laughs> G Money's gonna be my new DJ. This is great. This is facts. If we take, if we take the deal, you know, we get a little bit of money right now at the shows, but Hold on, let me see. it would be split in. fairly. Let me see. I like that. Because I'm there, right there. Everybody involved, <laughs> we all leaving with the same thing. That's how I get down. I like that. If I get a hundred dollars and five of us, that's how we grew up. Mm -hmm. Wu Tang was getting fucking. Couple hundred hour show between nine niggas. See, so we all then. breaking bread. Like, it don't, no big eyes and little U's. See, we do a show, we everybody. Ooh, My man that's at the show, the we cool all gotta right grow. There. But here's the thing Ooh, you make a hundred dollars, I make a hundred dollars, he make a hundred dollars. Let's take 20 of that and put it into something that's gonna make us another hundred dollars. Mm. Mm. I told you it was cool, man. See, you back, me, man. We not online, right? <laughs> we not on, right? No, no we're not live, but I see back then. I was hanging around. Oh, we still, we're still recording though, just letting you know. Oh, you are. We, we're yeah. not live like on live Instagram right. live, well, but we're anyway, we're live anyway, like on the camera. Back then, I was hanging around with Inspector Deck and Capadon. You know what I'm saying? We we cool buddies, everything. You know, fam. You know, we all broke bread, sat, ate at the same table, and all that. You know, Shaheen was a little dude. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. He was a See, when he was small, the dudes he talking about, Butchie and, and all of them, I was running with them too. You know what I'm saying? It was like there was a certain, there was certain people that can go to any project, you know? And I was one of those dudes that go to any project. Because you was respected. You was getting money. That's the guard. There it is. Yeah. But you got to know also, too, the guards, if you was the guard... You go anywhere. Yeah. Cause Represent. you got to think how how anything else came into play was because the guards was running. Guard body. Guard yeah. body. So up. then then you got to think that's how even you know not to even go in the past but that's how yeah. Latin Kings came about because the guards was running. So they formed something Man. to come into existence because the guards was oppressing them and running. Mm. So then what happened was with 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 being a guard you got to stay informative you got to have knowledge. So a lot of the heads of all the other organizations was God. Shaquille, that's the God. But he's the big homie. He is. So what happens is it's, it's easier to get an army of people that don't got to learn nothing to go. And that's how that came back. But, but majority, it's the gods. And at the end of the day, it's the gods. How do you become God body? 
Nobody got to study. Play that. You got to study. You got to study. You got to know, know history. Math math. And then you got to teach. <laughs> civ- <laughs> then you got to teach Yo, civilization like, to all the families on the planet. Yo, nah, not just corner, white, twin, black. To the corner. Yo, hey, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> Peace. What's you know what I'm saying? You, man? Why you said that? Why you talking like that, G? <laughs> huh? He's like he's from West Coast or something like yeah. that, man. He, yeah. 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 Um, Shane, so what's up? So now, what's up with the what's up? <laughs> eight, eight, situation happened 18 years old, but you still out moving and shaking. Yeah, you know, your album come out, you had yeah. a you know, you had a single with Met the Man, yes? No, it never, oh, well, yeah, 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 Before. yeah, 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 you talk about, you talk about the new joint. Oh, you, you so how you know? I said, yeah, damn, I knew you. You saw him last, you heard it? Nah, la, 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 la. I heard a new joint. On and on. I'm saying, on and on video. You know, but oh, he was in a video. Style. Yeah, style. A Shaolin style. A Shaolin style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, now you, the situation happened. Yeah. What happens next? Now your mind changed. Now you more in street mode. Well, a lot of things happen street mode and business wise. Okay, tell us. Because at that time, I was still on Virgin Records. Mm-hmm. And I was going at that time. I was going into the phase of doing my 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 third album, and I was also on the Parenthood. Mm. So what happens when a situation that happened to me with a lot of because it was a lot of press, radio, everybody talked about it. When you on a, a network like WB, they don't want no parts of that shit. Mm. So I lost a lot. It, it you know it cost me. A spot, a spot on f- the um, Parenthood. Mm. Um, By so, getting cut, cost you that? Yeah, because it's the negative press. This thing about that's a family show, bro. I was, I was that kid. I wasn't. Look, I was street, edgy, mm. but I was popular. I did waterfalls, one of the biggest videos in all times I worked with Penny Marshall before that I worked with Jim Brown Fred Williamson this mm. is a different level type shit. so I was on that status and then when negativity comes into it that's why I was just kind of because it's like yo the same people from your hood that's supposed to push you up and go go we gonna support you mm. it was just it was different so they didn't want the negative press with it you know what I'm saying and at the same time, now I'm signed to Virgin Records. I'm signed to a contract. So now I'm there. I'm their bag. Mm-hmm. So what happens when they're bag and there's insurance and all that on me? There's insurance on me as a person. So guess what happens when I get cut and, and fucking doctor's fee for laser surgeries and all this other shit? If you look at me, you can't see I was cut. No, where were you cut? So who's going to pay for this? What happens when somebody does fraud? Somebody's paying for this shit. Mm-hmm. They're gonna get their money. So it's more, it's 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 bigger than the shell of shit. it was bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? And but why but why did they let you go from the show? What because because they well, said no, that the no, uh no, no, no. but that that was just well that was just with the television show. Yeah, the but television show. What they was, was their reason? Like, it's bad press. It's bad press. You invo- they were saying I was involved in gang activity. I said, I ain't no gang. What are you talking about? I ain't no gang, but it is what it is. I don't kiss no ass, and I'm not going to do that to be a part of nothing. Robin Townsend, that's one of my big bros. We still great today. Legend. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But it is what it is. It wasn't him. It was the, the corporation. It, you know what I mean? His bosses. So, you know, after that, then it became, I was up for my third album to do with Virgin Records. Um, at the time, Wu Tang is on top of the fucking world. On fire. So I had an opportunity. Wu Tang had Wu Tang Records that was independent. Virgin Records, they offered me eight hundred thousand for a new album. RZA offered me seven dollars per album to do it on Wu Tang. So I went with the seven dollars, and that's how I got on Wu Tang Records. Mm. It wasn't a big enough. It the, the album didn't. Reached the status of all the other albums, but I made more money because it was an independent album. Right. And then it's just, it's just the fucking luck of the draw. At that time, I'm fucking hanging out at speed. My boy's 
and rob somebody. I'm just there. I ain't got shit to do with nothing. They say Shaheen told him to rob him. Now I'm locked up for a fucking robbery. Hold on. Mm. And, and, and I heard you talk about now, that. Now, now this would have been telling because I was with them. So I took the bullet and comped out and went up north. Hold on. Mm. Hold on. First and foremost, it happened already. So you ain't know your boy's gonna do that, yeah? All right. I'm gonna be, I'm, you know, I Keep already did my time, so it don't matter, right? This, it, this is what happened. I'm gonna tell you, because people probably been in this situation. Real n****s been in this situation. Keep it on, yeah. We at the club, right? Mm-hmm. Club Speed, you said. Club Speed. Rocking. Rocking three floors. <laughs> yeah, it's hip hop, <laughs> reggae. Da, 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 da. I'm done, right? <laughs> Check it. Speed's be rocking. My man's in them. Then bagged a group of chicks. They got out every friend that I'm supposed to get. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I bag a chick in a whole nother group. But their friends is with another group of niggas. So now the leftover, me and the left, we both leftover. Am I going to go with the ugly chick? Or am I taking the chick that he wants that's with his crew? But she's willing to roll with me. So we talking. I said, yeah, I'm outside in the front. Uh, I'll meet up. I right, cool, back. So I'm out front. You know, I'm parked here. Two cars back. My man's is parked. The girls, ha, ha, everything's good with their group. So I'm out front. Come out, they mobbing. So she's like, yo, um, I'm going to go get my bag. I'll be back. So I'm like, you go do that. You rolling with this faggot ass and this, So I'm just sitting there like, word. So I'm like, yo, bro, listen, it's nothing, man. Go Like, I already know what it could be. So I'm just saying, yo, man, go ahead, man. Like, I don't want to fuck. Go ahead, yo. You going to get the bag? All right. But the wrong is overheard it. Who they talking to? I'm like, ain't nothing, bro. Nah, 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 nah. All right. These niggas decide to follow them. So they call gunpoint. Da, 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 give me everything. Da, 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 da. I go home. I don't know they went around the corner. I'm sitting there still waiting for the bra. Like damn, this crazy. We taking a long out. I go home. I'm on probation because I just got caught with a stolen cop's Glock from Los Angeles. I just was on probation for that. Shit. So now I go to probation, and my PO is saying, "How was your New Year's?" I'm like, "Oh, everything was good." She said, yeah, uh, some detective from Midtown South called about you. I said, for what? He said, yeah, he's part of a robbery. I'm like, a part of a robbery? I don't even remember this shit. Mind you, man, I smoke mad dust. We, I, I don't remember What's dust? Shit. Angel dust? Yeah. Okay. I ain't remember this shit. I'm so like, angel bird. dust, huh? I'm like, that happened? Whatever. I said, I said, I said hey, uh, whatever. Just some contact my lawyer. She said, I should have known. Because she was like, take care of yourself. And I was like, all right. But I'm stupid. I'm not thinking. As soon as I walked out, freeze, get out of the wall. They outside. I'm like, oh, shit. Take me, lock me up for it. Now, my charge is uh, robbery in the first degree, uh, assisting two unapprehended individuals. Hmm. So I'm like, how am I assisting two unapprehended individuals that's not even caught? How are you blaming me for this shit? Wasn't even there. Technically, I wasn't there, but I was there because the club showed pictures, the video of right. us coming in the club together. So I was there and I was with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, ah, what the fuck are you going to do at this point? Give your mans up or what the fuck are you going to do? So I'm like this. You know what? I'm facing 15 years robbery in the first degree after trial. That's that's a, uh, that's a B felony. That's 15 years in New York State Penitentiary. Easy. They offered me two years, three years parole. I took it. Did they catch your mans? No. Is free as a bird. Hmm. Never went to jail. Never got arrested. Never did nothing. It's my man's. But so wait, my hold on. how you get? How you get? Caught? So the guys that got robbed told on you. They said that Shaheen told his friends to do this to us. Wow. That's what it was. And nobody came up. <sighs> but your but see now, no, 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 no. Now I look at it different because I look at it. Like, Damn, bro, you my bro. You supposed to step up. I got a rap career. Mm-hmm. You niggas fucking doing nothing. Why ain't you step up and say you did this? <laughs> I can continue with my rap career. Amen. But but then, but see, that's one angle. But then if I were to say, yo, these niggas did this and I didn't really do it because they didn't step up for me. But if I would have said this, then I'm a fucking rat. What did that do to your mind at that time? Taking a charge that you had nothing to do with? I didn't even know at that time. I was, my nigga, I was so f- Dusted? Dusted. 
on high cloud thinking I'm that nigga. Didn't matter. I'm like, whatever. It's my brother's. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. What? That's, that was my mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we t- whatever, bro. I'm not looking at it like, yo, you wouldn't sacrifice yourself for me and tell the truth to let me go free to continue. I didn't look at it like that. I just looked at it like, yo, I can't. I can't tell. Bad enough, just run around saying this shit about this other shit. Mm-hmm. I took mm-hmm. these niggas go down. Oh shit! I'm I'm certified. You said it's New Year's, right? Yeah, Th- this event. That's a bad luck. Bad I thought New you Year's. had something. I, I saw something online about New Year's with the with the hit and run. Or yeah, something. that's bad luck for me. That's a bad luck day. I'll never go out on New Year's ever again in my life. Mm. Look, my cousin got killed on New Year's. My homeboy got killed on New Year's. My first charge was New Year's, and my second state bid was New Year's. I'll never do it. I don't give a. F- they give me a million dollars. I'm not coming to nothing on New Year's. I'm gonna sit in the house. Mm. That's a fact. So but I'm, and I'm, that's kind of that's fucked up. Yeah. That's kind of. But but but, but yeah. wait, look, tell us how you got into Angel <laughs> Dust real quick. How did it happen? Well, I'm from Stables and Projects, and in Stables and Projects, it's home of the wet. I smoke dust before I smoke weed. Mm. That's what it is in my project. Everybody smoke dust. Mm. It's oh, it's like going to one three knife and Linux. That's what it's at. That's so, me and Big L. That's how we got dope. He said, "Nah, nah." Me, me and Big L. That's my boy. Nah, my Rest boy. in peace to Big L. That's my boy. But I used to go up there. Cam got the liquor store. I used to go up there buy my dust and chill, smoke dust in the park with them, and uh, go back to Staten Island, riding halfway on the sidewalk. But you know, how did you get into it? You just it just it just came naturally. Well, it's the thing. You all right? Probably, I don't know if y'all ever smoke weed. How do you smoke weed nah. for the first time? Nah, I haven't. How do you weed. drink for the first time? Your boy said, yo, I got a bag. I'm like, I don't smoke. Come on, come on, take a pull this shit. Tell me, God, this is shit. I'm like, word. And I smoked it. Then I was chilling on the sidewalk, on the sidewalk for hours. <laughs> That's the shit got me fucked up. At the time, so I'm never doing this shit again. I woke up, I said, yo, let's get another bag. Now, now look, I, I ain't gonna lie. My, my only is. my only knowledge of Angel Dust is watching Friday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Yo, f- actor. <laughs> you got, you got, you got I, thought, I, thought you, I thought you took it, G. No, 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 no. G, I said, what the hell? I do hookah, but you know, that's, that's G. My, that's Yo, most... you almost broke my heart, son. I'm about to, I'm about to tell you, this is over, bro. I can't nah, do this. I was just gonna say that that's, what, that's the only knowledge I know about Angel Dust. Me watching Friday and seeing Smokey going crazy and, and a little pigeon coop and all that. Like, hold on, you mind bringing guests on the phone? Sure. Mm. Let's see what's going on. That, that, that was the thing. What's going on, beloved? Peace, what's up, sunshine? Peace. Hey, man, just sitting, laying here, watching some movies with my wife and chilling. Doing the that things you like to do, Chinese like movies. like you supposed to do. But yeah, like I was like I was building in the um, you know, in the, in the interview because you know they bring you up, you know what I'm saying? They bring yeah. the situation up because it's a very t- uh, 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 a legendary tale. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I was yeah. explaining to people and I was like, by the grace of Allah, that we was able to sit down and have a conversation before we let the minds that's in between us have us trying to do something to one each other when we both yeah. on a path of growth and development and we both learn who our enemy is. It's not, you not my enemy. It's these uh-huh. people. That's yeah, a fact. Know, see, I'm way, I'm way, I'm way beyond... See what 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 these what a lot of these guys is doing on this internet thing. I'm so beyond it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, that's why you know Sub Zero had reached out, Don D had reached out, a few people had reached out before I was uh, released from the plantation. So at the end of the day, I denied all of them. I would not do no interviews. I've never done any. Ain't trying to do really do any. But if it's coming from you and it's coming from a space where you're at and it's coming from a space where it's not like we talking over 20 years ago, fam. Like I'm not even nowhere near sunshine. I'm Mitchell Darnell Reddick, man. You know what I mean? I got a son on the way. Be here in a month. You know what I'm saying? I'm down south. I'm doing me. I ain't bothering nobody. I'm out the way. You know, I, I get to my little spats here and there with a couple of guys. <clears throat> but other than that, like I'm, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even on that negative type of time, fam. Like, you know what That's I mean? And I, I, I see how the social media is moving, and I'm really just not, you know, I'm really just not one of them that, um, how can I say? I'm really not one of them that's going to just be susceptible to accept certain lines of questioning. 
Can I can I ask Sunshine? Um, so, yes? at, so at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I'm with whatever you want to do. Yeah, it's your lead. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. Nobody's gonna try to twist my words or twist mm -hmm. me into saying anything. That I have nothing negative. I actually, truly and honestly, on my son Israel that's about to be born, I truly believe that you have grown to the point where. Like all things are excused. You you understand because it's not like I understand where they're going with it. You gotta understand the atmosphere. You got the you know, the the whole non trade Takashi thing and all this. They're trying to ride that negative wave. And I am not trying to ride that wave. See, because all I'm gonna any question that they ask me, all I'm gonna be is like, yo, that's my brother. Well, can you tell us what happened and this that? Yo, that's my brother. Respect. Right. Oh, you know what I mean? Y'all have his number. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't have to go into that. I'm not living. I don't live in the past, man. Can I? Ask every day, I every day yeah. I wake up and I put my my feet on the ground. I've already prayed. Say my day is going boom. That and I go out in the world and I do what I got to do to take care and to safeguard my sanity, my peace. And the tranquility of my wife and my son. Yo, 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 dig, yo, diggity, um, um, Queens Flip, Queens Flip, wanna uh ask you something. Yo, Mr. Sunshine, um, yo, what's going on, brother? How you doing, brother? Bless, blessing, and and, and blessings. Con congrats on your newborn. It's coming, ma you. many blessings. I just want to ask you one question: What made you change your outlook on life? Because I heard, I heard, of, I'm not gonna get into it, but I, I heard about you and you know who you was. Connected with, associated, et cetera, et cetera, being in the box, all this stuff. But what made you change your outlook on life? Well, actually, my outlook on life changed in the box. Ah. Uh, uh, I had a, I had a chance encounter uh, with a brother, and uh, he started putting me on to like what life is truly about, and and. I'm going, you know, is it all right? Is it safe for me to say his name? Yeah, yeah, if it's yeah. okay, yeah. Um, a, a, a big homie of mine's named Soul B. Yeah, um, I interviewed Soul B. <laughs> Soul B. Oh <laughs> yeah, Soul B, uh, at first we was at odds because he didn't like Valentine, the, the Valentine blood situation because of this dude named, you know. Yeah, and I know. He told me about time, that story. You know, at the time, you know, UBN had, had separated you know, a lot of hoods started leaving. So, uh, um, you know, he really didn't want to side with SI because he had he had history with Iz and 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 uh, Todd Guns and all of them, and, and and you know, all the all the, a lot of sets had left that Sobe was cool with, but Sobe was still screaming "You be in" or "You be out," but he didn't hmm. he didn't dig Magoo having the hood once SI left. So I always was. SI's my man, bless his soul. That was my man from the streets, penitentiaries, whatever have you. So uh, um, I had a chance encounter one time uh, uh, to go, and I was I got I got over there. It was a porter on his uh, on his gallery, and we we was chopping it up. And so B said something to me that was very interesting. He said, "Yo, homie." He said, I know about you. He said, I know about you, you know, in the streets and all that. I know who you are, just in dirt and all that. He said, I've heard some good things, I heard some bad things. I, said, I always told people, I don't care about the bad things. He told me about the good things. But he told me this, and it's almost verbatim. He said, he said, yo, Sunshine, yo, I'm going to tell you something, bro. He said, none of this right here even counts, bro. He said, I heard you getting short. Who are you? And that one question, I'm 40, I'll be 46 next month on the 23rd. Nobody has ever asked me that my entire life but him. Okay. Mm. And that caused me to go back into myself and start really figuring out who I am. Mm. And once I started figuring out who I am, I started diving into my studies. And, you know, I'm very spiritual. You know, I, 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 I'm a self-proclaimed Hebrew Israelite. And I, cha I traced my family's line back to Damascus and Ireland because I have white in my family too on both sides. So I, cha I traced my 
my uh, family heritage, and it's, I, it's just started. I started realizing who my enemy really is. My enemy is not anybody that looks like me, talks like me, or acts like me. My enemy is everything that doesn't talk like me, act like me, or, or move like me. So at the end of the day, I started finding myself. And once I came home, that was a wrap. You know what I mean? I just was like, I'm not even with it. I got into my little skirmishes because I'm only human. But that's what actually changed my life. So B actually gave me a question. And the question was, who are you? And, and that question changed my life. Shout out to So B. He was the first one that we interviewed and that changed the whole dynamic of the direction of the platform. Mm -hmm. So shout out to So B, man. He's a good brother. Yeah, shout out to So B. But but I appreciate I appreciate you coming on here and just, you know, clearing things up because, you know, um what had happened was somebody had sent me a message when we first was gonna interview the homie, and then I had to ask Shaquel, Killer Kev actually, and then Killer Kev put me in contact with Shaquel because I didn't want to ask any questions. And then the, the brother Shaheem, you know, he he kept it real and said that, you know, you guys spoke and, you know, you guys both grew from the situation. Oh, so. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, As far as Killer Kev, that's the big homie. Um, As far as Shaquel, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm praying that he's uh, actually feeling better. I heard he was going through something yes. not too long ago. My man, um, my, um, Killer Kev's Conrad Justice, that's my man from back in adolescence. And um, I'm hoping and all that. But I want to clear something with you, Flip, when it comes down. And uh, I just want to speak on it with you. You know, I don't want no you know, negativity on it. Um, a lot of individuals I don't get along with, okay? Like, you know, uh, uh, me and Shaquel, we don't see eye to eye. So I don't want to portray like we do Okay. But I have no animosity towards the brother, but he, I'm like this, Queens Flip. If I'm, if I'm your brother, I don't care if you dead or alive. If I was your brother when you died, and Shaheen was going at it with you when you was alive, and did things to you, I'm not gonna change the narrative after. I can forgive you, but I can't forget. So I'm not gonna change the narrative mm -hmm. and quell. And CK, them dudes wasn't cool with my homie SI, bless his soul. So I'm not going to get on any platform and act like there's a, you know, a dove or a leaf or whatever people call the white flag or whatever. My homie died, y'all was enemies, then that's what it is. But I am not looking to hurt nobody or be hurt. But I just want to set the record straight. Them dudes was not. Yo, 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 diggity. I think that's a um an interview that you can have with with um flip okay. flip on them yeah. on your own. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna put y'all in contact Thank so y'all can talk yeah. about that on another note because like okay. you know you know like me Shaqua that's my big bro. You know what I'm saying yeah. and and we 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 have this new beautiful relationship and I don't want to yeah. taint nothing. Mm. At all? No, no, no. I don't want to put nothing on you. I don't want to yeah. put nothing on you, Shaw. But I, it was brought to my attention. Brothers was using SI. Right, rightfully in so. His, in his death, so right. I just wanted to set that straight because I don't want no one to be like, oh, Sean got on there and he like da 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 da. da. Nah. Rightfully and so. I, and but, I respect but, you and your relationship with him, and that's the reason why I'm gonna, you know. Yeah. No, back. no, but this is what I'm back. this is what I'ma sell for you. Because see, listen, my job for you, you know, my job in general, if I got an outlet that can help you progress in your life, I'm gonna plug you in and y'all can have a beautiful conversation you. and you can get your platform and you can start doing what the fuck you need to do with your artists that you got signed up and the music y'all got. This is it. Okay. So y'all okay. gonna do what y'all gonna hey, do. Yo, let me tell you, Sha, I love you, man. I told you that from day one. I love you and I appreciate you and I appreciate your growth. You know, I'm all for it. I support you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and that's just that. I don't have my, you know, we have a common enemy. Me and you are not enemies. And it's that's just the bottom line. It's a fact. That's what that's I told him. That's just the bottom that, line. That, 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 that. And, and that's how it's going. And that's where it's at. And I'm not shaking from that. I've always been a, a a man that said, yo, this is what it is, and that's what it is. That, and that, I stand that's, on that today. That's what I told him from the beginning, right? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. yo, nobody's exempt from mistakes. 
You know what I'm saying? Nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Situations happening and happen, and I thank the universe for allowing us to connect before we let the negative minds have us trying to go against each other when we both feel how we feel. You done, you doing you, I'm doing me. It's like, yeah. if we oh, didn't speak, no. just imagine no, if we never. didn't, my nigga, just imagine I, if we didn't speak, right? And for yeah. everybody that don't know, we speak. I'm they talking shit me. about me to you. They talking shit about you to me, you know and I'm laughing you know, like, yo, this you know is crazy, because I speak the you boy. Know, you know what's crazy? I, I come to find out that my nephew is your cousin. Oh. Yeah, 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 he's my cousin. You know, what's Gunner had hit me, Gunner hit me up on Instagram, was like, yo, <laughs> big fan, what's good? When you had came home, I was like, yo, it's all love. So, he he just show said me that the earlier. Boxes. I said, yo, it's <laughs> all love. He said, he said, it's all love. I said, hell yeah. I said, yo, that black man don't, you know what I mean? He, he, we both was young at a time when we didn't even realize who our enemies were. You know what I'm saying? We was out there getting high, doing all that dumb shit. And um, he sent me the picture. He said, yo, all right, I'm going to go check him. And he sent me the picture of y'all too. And I was like, yeah. yo, that's much love and respect, man. That's a fact. Like, yo, yeah, listen, you know? my listen, because listen, right? I'm going to keep it 100, right? How I think about it, because I'm thinking about the overall, the overview. Yeah. Overview. You're going to tell your story through my story, because we came together and we had our issues or whatever for a reason. So yeah. I'm going to pass your math off when we hang up, Appreciate and y'all going to connect, and y'all going to do your own thing in your interview, and anything for it. You know what I'm saying? And even in oh, yeah. my autobiography, even in my series, you're That's gonna right. have a spot and you're gonna get your you're gonna do what you gotta do. That's it. Hey, oh, yeah, but, oh, oh, hey. I, I appreciate you so much, homie, but I'm gonna keep it a thousand with you. I know it ain't about that. I know it ain't about that because we talked um, about that. I know yeah, it ain't about bro, that. You know, but I but, don't mind I don't mind nah, I'm, I'm, I'm nah. at a point where bro, I don't even go nowhere. Listen, like, I don't even know what to do. I wouldn't listen, even know how to go about but this. I'm but, so but, but, far see, but this is from this, everything. Like, but fam, this is the I'm, thing. I'm not. Yeah. So we yeah. cause each other pain. I owe you that. Yeah. Like you yeah, owe so, me some yeah, shit. I owe you some shit. Yeah, so I'm I saying owe, you know what I, you know I, what I owe you, you, you to know, show you the way. That's right. But I also I owe you. A spiritual connection. I owe you love. I owe you respect. I owe you honor. I owe you integrity. I don't owe you anything dealing I'm with this boy. material world. That, and you don't owe me nothing, bro. Yeah. You want to know why? Let me let me say something. A I'm a better man for what I went I'm through, Shaw. Yeah, but all right. Listen, I can look listen. Can, 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 can we pop? Hey, can we? Hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. Can we pop champagne and enjoy our night and talk about this old later and get some money? That's what I'm talking about. All that other shit, I'm just listen. It's much better. Let's feel let's feel much better when we got rollies and we popping bottles and we talking about this old shit. Like, oh, shy, you crazy, shy. That's a fact. Yo, my n you already know it. You know you go. And I want you to continue to do what you got to do. You know you on the album. And you and and they know you're gonna be talking spicy on the album for all them niggas that was talking all that stupid shit. You on the oh, yeah, album, you talking you spicy, you and and I'm going to do my part, and yeah. love is love. But yo, Big Malik from the West is here, and he want to holler at you. So I'm going to get back to the interview. I'm definitely okay. going to pass your math off. It's okay to flipping them from yeah, Flip the Script. Definitely. And they'll text definitely. you so y'all can connect, and you handle your definitely. business. Y'all handle whatever y'all handle. I ain't got nothing to do with anything <laughs> after that. But you know what I'm saying? Love is love, my nigga. Stay up. Man, stay safe yeah, you know that. You know that. Right. Yeah. Love is love, big bro. Love is love, bro. Yeah. How you feel, man? Let's get. Take it outside. Yeah. Take it outside, uh, Lee. Ooh. Yo, you know, you know what it is, but it's it's, real it's real shit like that. Listen, my nigga. You set the tone. This this is real yeah. shit, right? Yeah, I had to you. This is real shit, right? And honestly, it's a little comfortable, and and that's why I had to stop it because how long do I allow? It? That's my big bro, Shakur. How long do I? So I'm like, yo, hey, whoa, 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 this is this is another level for me. Yeah, yeah, fact. this is next level. But, but I still it. can't participate. Yeah, you did right. I don't know any of that, but what I do know is levels of loyalty. Respect. And if I gotta put my level of loyalty, like Shakur, like listen, my.
I was 13 years old. My pops is in prison with Shaquille. How we met, my pops would call and say, yo, you got to do a three-way for my guy. I get on and Shaquille, I'm say, hey, what's up? Shaquille is nice on the mic at the time. Spitz, I said, oh, you nice. So we develop a relationship. I, he sent me pictures that I sent him 20 years ago. Mm. Like, so imagine, yeah, all right, I came to prison. It was on me. But then when you getting Shaquille sending kites, they're saying, you touch him, it's it's lit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just tilts the skill. How many seasons you was on Parenthood for? I don't even think I made a full season. I think I did like four, five episodes. Mm. And and I was I was I was I was an idiot. I was the first person to wear woo wear on national television. <laughs> I ain't even get a check for this. Shit. If I knew what I knew now, to charge them a hundred thousand to wear that. Shit. Oh, I would have hired that FUBU. I fucking wore FUBU. They'll tell you the truth. First rapper to wear FUBU in the Big Daddy Kane Show and Prove video had the big FUBU jersey on. Mm. If I knew better, I would do better. How did the whole but you think? But you think these same motherfuckers would come back and say this nigga's in prison? <laughs> Let me send him two dollars for some soap. Why did they visit you in prison? Because I read it. Why you think they didn't? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, Why what? nobody visits anybody in prison? I mean, some people do get visits. No, because it's a thing called percentage of love. Hmm. It's a thing called percentages of love. Hmm, that's not... Some people have 10% love for you. They'll smoke some blunts with you. they get drunk. You know what I'm saying? they do that. Then you got some people that got 30%. They might send you $20. Then you got people that do 50% that'll keep their phone on answer sometimes. Mm. Then you got 70%, some people that'll show up once a year. And then you got 80 and and, and it works like that. And I I went through I went through a transformation during my bid. I was angry. I was depressed. Then I became happy. The transformation between depressed and happiness is once I realized my position and I was able to say, oh, I remember it like yesterday. I'm sitting in Clinton. I'm in Clinton, Maine. They just escaped. The two white boys, this great escape from Tannemore. I'm in there. They just escaped. I'm waking up. Wake up. Nah, that's just big. Wake up. They waking us up. Five o'clock count. But today, you know, normally, like... Officer shy, shine his light on you. Be like, yo, I'm up. Throw the covers back over here. It's like, no, ID's on the desk. Shirts off at your gate. So I'm like, what the f this shit about? Take my shirt off at the gate. My ID, I'm standing there. Come by. They cut off our TVs because we got TVs. We got a little 13 inches, like, like, and that's when I came home. I thought I was doing something. I got my first. Well, I think I had a what a 32 inch. I thought that shit was huge. <laughs> Everybody come to my room like, nigga, what the fuck is this? I'm like, shit is big. Like, you need a 60. What the fuck you doing? But that was big to me. So, I, you know, whatever. So, I got this shit. And they come up to my cell. They're like, yo, pedigree. Name, Cheyenne Franklin. Then number, 1483954. Date of birth, 111477. Uh, uh, um... Mother's maiden name. Father's maiden name. Da, 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 da. All right, sit back down. That's what the f*** going on in this motherfucker. Then they cut off all English. But you know what they didn't cut off? The Spanish channels. So all you hear is, Papi! Then you go, Yo, turn on the Spanish station. Somebody, these escape. Oh! So we banging. Yay! I don't even know what the fuck I was banging for because I was still in my cell, but I was banging. Yay! I'm banging. That shit was cool. But you know what happens next? The terrorism. We are locked the fuck down for two weeks. Can't call family. Can't write nobody. Nothing. Mm. If you didn't have comp... See... This is where I learned certain morals of how to deal with people, because I was I was a little fortunate. I ain't, I didn't I didn't have 
But the time I went to prison, I didn't really, to be honest with y'all, I didn't really have much, much, much physical money. You know what I'm saying? Like, after, after my lawyer fees, after all that shit, like, I was facing 30 years. I cost seven, I chopped it in half. It cost a lot to, to, to chop 30 year sentence to seven to 14. It costs a lot. Those that know, you know what I'm saying? It, it it took me a minute. It took me about a year to fight that shit to get halfway through because I had um I had two separate indictments. You know what I'm saying? I I had got caught in a um I didn't get caught. I got lined up for um a a a, a, a possession of heroin with with the intent to manufacture and distribute heroin in your with crib. This, that was the money for my crib. Mm. See, this is this 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 is the f- this is the f- my nigga, and that's why I tell people when you realize who you are, you gotta re- once you realize who you are, you you do better. If you don't do better, you are gonna get fucked up. When the media hit it and said it was my crib, that was never my crib, bro. That was never my crib, but I was involved with some real. Underworld activities You know what I'm saying So It's like I mean I guess I served time for it So it really can't hurt me But I don't want to touch it Because I don't know What else it could bring On another level Because state is state And federal is federal Mm -hmm. But To make a long story short A comrade of mine's And I'm not gonna He he was a uh, Correctional officer and um, he went to work every day. That was his hustle. And I remember, I remember from my block saying, "Yo, boy, what my boy? That like this CEO? What the f- like? He from the hood like us? What the f- you talking about? Yo, bro, I remember it vividly. I know, like, yo, bro, they don't think the same. If they can pass that test, bro, they not us. You never didn't tell me, shy. You would never pass that f- test if you answer those questions." I'm like, what's the big deal? Whatever. I'm thinking, trying to get over. This nigga can carry the f- gun legally. We rolling. That's it. That's all I give a f- about. You can pack it, shoot a n- If you come up to me with that bull, shoot him. Point blank, right? It's my bro. So he had he had an apartment, which means that. Anything in the apartments is under him. He has a license to carry. He has a license to have firearms in his house. Mm. So me, I'm thinking, this is a come up. I could get the other room, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Put my studio equipment up in there, chicks, keep some hammers in there myself. So it's all not on him. I don't want to make it seem like what mine was his because it wasn't his. It wasn't his, not at all. More of the story is, he's like, yo, bro, you want to make extra money? Like, I, I, at this time, I had bottom up, the movement going. I was selling CDs. I was selling T-shirts. We, I put out the Fat Boy record, the Dust Juice, um, Disrespectfully Speaking album, Greatest Story Never Told. I was making traction. I was, I was selling... I wasn't selling platinum, but I was selling 30,000 units at $10. I was still claiming 300 a year. Like, th- that was great. That was cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, it's not what these other niggas get, but 300,000 on the slide is like, I'm investing like probably 10, making 300. I'm doing, I'm doing all right for myself. So, I said, bro, you want to make some extra money? So I'm like, doing what? She like, yo, I'm at work all day. All you got to do is meet with the families that I give you the number, get the money, get the list, and go get what they get. And when, when I come back to the island, you just give me the property, I bring it to, it's nothing. So I'm like, what the f- crime am I doing? I'm not doing no crime. I can meet with you all day, flip you all day, G. Give me a list of getting cell phones, cologne, some some crack, some weed, some dope, some whatever, the, Molly, whatever the fuck you want. I give it to you. I didn't bring it into prison. I didn't do a crime. It's great, my nigga. I'm talking money like a mother. A week, seven, eight, ten. We killing it. So, you know, I'm doing my other shit. I'm doing my recordings and shit. 
But I'm like, damn. So we rock and it slow up. So you start to notice 10 when it slow up and you getting five every week. You like, yo, bro. Ain't, ain't nothing coming? Nah, ain't nothing coming. But all along, the next is seeing how he's splitting his with you. So he'd be like, I could do this myself. When he decided to do it himself, it was already told on him and he was watching him. So then they caught him, boom. And when they caught him, boom. Yeah, we got you. But we want to know who's the mother f- that was meeting with them all the time. Give us Shaheen Franklin. <gasps> Wu Tang? Fed's been on Wu Tang for years. Yeah, buddy. We're going to break this and let him give up the. I don't know. I'm chilling, minding my business. The first time I got a whiff of it, I'm driving. I'm driving down Van Dusa Street. And it don't matter now because I served my time. Because I'm driving with a suspended license. So you know when you drive with a suspended license, you looking for any other car that can get some attention more than you. So I don't got no tents or nothing. I'm riding. I see a $10 shit. I said, oh, I'm getting behind this Cause On the side of it, because they're going to pull this shit with the tinted windows over for me. So I'm riding, cruising. So I get to the shit, because you got to go like down Van Dusa, up Tarji to get to the highway. So I go up, narrows, get on the highway. So I'm on the highway now. But I'm looking in my rear view. I'm saying, damn, this motherfucking same tin that I'm sh- going the same way I'm going. So something popped in my head. I said, yo, it's following me, bro. I said, all right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off this exit. Get off the exit. They're getting off the exit, too. So I do a little dips. Boom. Lucky enough, I got around two school buses and parked on the block. Parked through my seat back. When it got to the block, it didn't, I couldn't have got too far, so it pulled over too. So I'm looking at my rear view. Why this nigga follow me? I mean, I'm a little st- stupid sometimes. I said, man, f- this shit. I get out the car. I walk down the car. I'm like, yo, f- you follow me. They pulled off. I noticed it was a man with a computer and another man. I said, oh. F-. But I'm thinking in my mind, damn, they might have followed me doing them last drops. This is what this is about. I'm not thinking it's a bigger situation. So I'm saying, all right. I said, I said, you know what? I'm going to switch whips. I'm just not going to drive this. Park it up. Drive the other way. About four days later, I'm just driving. We got turns on Staten Island. Staten Island's a bunch of hills and turns. So I'm around a turn. There's no way I could be doing 70 around this turn. The most you can do is 15, 20. Mm. So I come through it. I see the lights on in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the grill. That's narcotics. So I'm saying, I'm thinking they just trying to get by. So I pull over. Like, let them get by. They behind me. So oh, my license suspended as a m- They come up to the car. But now I'm just thinking they looking for guns and drugs. I'm clean. Comes up to the car. He say, uh, license and registration. I say, hey, no problem. Because I got the physical license. So I'm thinking as long as they don't run it, if they search it, they don't find that, they're not going to run it. They just going to say, all right, you got a license. You got the registration. Let us search it. We on our way. This Comes up to the car and goes, Come on, Frank, you know your license is suspended. So I said, What? <laughs> I said, oh, Okay. I said, All right, you got me. What are we doing? He said, Yeah, we're going to take you in for spin license. I said, All right. Boom. I said, All right, well, let me just call my people. I said, Yo. I said, Yo, yeah, take me to the precinct. I got the car. Come get it. It's the precinct. Get in the precinct. In 120, they put you in the cells and then they come to get you. So they bring me upstairs to get. Picture, fingerprint, everything. So I'm up there with the same officers as my wrestling officers. So I'm in, the, I'm in, the, I'm in. The, um, there's two cells up there. There's one there and one there. So I'm in the left cell. So you come, come on, Frank. Come on, Franklin. Come on, let's go, man. I gotta have you ever fingerprint you for these dirty knocks come. So I'm like, you ain't the knocks. He's like, nah, we eternal affairs. I'm like, eternal affairs. What the f- eternal affairs pulling me over for? That's not their business. The turn affairs, police, police. So I'm like, what am I getting? So I'm fair, so I'm saying, what the fuck is this shit about? So I said, all right, whatever. They start fingerprinting me. So he said, hey, Frank, are you paying any police off, man? I ain't paying police off. I don't even know fucking no cops. I'm not thinking the CO the whole time. I'm not thinking. That's far, farthest from my mind. 
I get out. Next morning, I bail out. I'm out. So then, you know, I'm fighting. I'm chill. No, I didn't even fight yet. It's still the 10 day window for the raid. So I'm still chilling at the crib. Smoke weed, playing video game, four three, four thirty. Boom. Search one, search one, search one. I'm sleeping. Don't move. I'm like, oh shit. Cuff me. They start ramshacking the house. They find like six guns, all type of. I'm like, what the fuck? So at this point, it's not my crib. I don't give a fuck. This n- got a license for this shit. If he got a license for this house and he got registered guns here, the n- that's not registered as his too. Let's go. So I see this ain't mine. I'm just chilling. I'm like, whatever, n- take me where you got to take me. I get to I get to criminal court the next morning. My lawyer showed up. He said, hey, Frank. I'm like, what's up? He said, yeah, you're in trouble. I said, what's up? What I'm charged with? He says you charged with one possession of a firearm and attempt to sell a uh, heroin with this because you got the skills and the baggies and, and 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 it's bagged up with the attempt to manufacture and distribute heroin. I said, bro, where's the other guns? How you charging me for one gun and you got six other guns in this mother? If one's mine, everything's mine. He's like, he said this. So he started doing shit. So, boom. so they said bail out, bail out, ten thousand dollars, bail out. So he comes get me. I get my get my discovery. They're saying that I was the um what they call this shit. That I was the. I was the I was, I was the person that they was looking for. I forget the words they looking for, but I was the um something of the search warrant. That I was I was the target. I was the target for it. So my lawyer's saying, okay, if you the target, but this is not your residence, the only way they can search another residence that's not yours if they in pursuit and chase you in this house and catch you with something. But if you just in there and they raid that shit, that shit doesn't belong to you. How are you the target at somebody else's fucking house? Right. It's an issue. So then we started, he started doing it. He said, don't worry about it. Started looking to it. Stupid me, out on bail. Get into the other situation. Boom. Wake up in the morning, got a homicide. I said, what the f***? How did that happen? Come on, man. How the, how the f- I mean, the things that led up to it was crazy. It was crazy. It got out of control. So I really can't say what happened before that because some other s***. But I was leaving the situation. And through the po- process of leaving the situation, I didn't... Blew many a red f- lights. Boom! I woke up. What the f- is going on? But I remember at that moment, that's when I knew I knew a law was real. Because I woke up. It was quiet. It was quiet. It was a quiet I never, I never experienced in my life. So quiet, even when I'm asleep, it was different than that quiet. It was different. And all of a sudden, it was like, you know how you rip a piece of paper and they go, that's why. And I just seen a piece of paper like rip, like a, 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 a slash. Oh God, I was dizzy. I said, what the fuck happened? What the fuck? I got shit all on my lap, all types of shit I'm not supposed to have. I'm like, what the fuck? What happened? Dizzy. So I'm like, I'll get out the car. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I've seen shit. I'm like, yo, I can't walk because my back is. My head is split Everything I'm fucked up I start limping up the block An old couple comes out Come in here baby Come get right So he said Wash your face or something I'm in a bathroom Washing my face I'm like the fuck? And I'm looking in the mirror I'm like What the fuck happened It's, sti- it's still Then it start to play back Yo you was over there You was doing this I said Oh shit. Then the lady goes Hey baby You got to go there's a lot of police going down there. You got to go. So I'm like, oh, I said, I, I ain't miss him out. Throw my hood on my head. Walk up the block. This this is this is the thing that it's like people are put in certain places to be there at the first time they're supposed to be there. Because I couldn't walk. I made it halfway up the block. And a girl I knew from high school just happened to walk out of a f-ing house. And I'm limping and she's like, shot. And I'm like, yo, I need a ride. She's like, get in my car. I got you. So at this time, I said, yo, just take me home. I go home, sitting there and washing my shit off. 
I said, all right, I know, I know a class, so I'm watching the news. I said, let me watch the news. Man died. I said, get the out of here. So I called my lawyer, 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, yo, see, yeah, you see Channel 1 and 5 and all that? He said, yeah. I said, yeah, man. He said, come on, Frank, you got to be kidding me. I said, yeah. He said, well, all right. He asked me one question. He said, you got a conscience? A conscience? I said, nah, wow, what's up? He said, all right, well, let's wait till they put you there. I said, all right, fuck it. And that's how I lasted eight days because I left blood and all that. And once they did all that, they came, called them up, say, hey, tell your fucking guy he left his watch in there with his name engraved on it, vain motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He called me and I turned myself in and that's that story. And then they put both the cases together? No, that took about a year because I was facing a B felony for the drugs and the guns. Mm -hmm. That alone was 15 years. And then for the, the, the manslaughter, that was 15 years. So the initial offer was 30 years, cop out. So the person you hit, you you didn't know him? I didn't, I didn't know him from the wall and paint the wall. Did you ever and, speak? I, and, and, I, and I'm sorry for that. Did you ever speak to his family or nothing? Um, there's this thing, there's this thing when you're upstate and you're preparing for the um, parole board where you can write the family, you know what I'm saying? And I wrote them a real, real in-depth level. I never heard back from them because they don't tell you what they say or their response. But when I was getting sentenced, the family was very, they was very understanding and they said they didn't wish any evil upon me. You know, all they, all they ask is that I understand what I've done. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and I and I do, honestly, I do. You know what I'm saying? Because me and to my bull cost somebody else's life. And you know, and I can't I can't change. There's nothing I could do to change that. But to do better. To do better, you know, and hopefully one day and I think it's bigger than money because that's the case they would have sued me. Their family ain't try to sue me. They ain't try to do nothing. So I know it ain't about no money. So I just took the wisdom that they gave me, and I said, you know what? I'm going to make a commitment to be the best me I could be. Right. Leave the bullshit alone. Because somebody died behind my bullshit. That I can't, I can't bring that back. I can't change that. There's nothing I can do to change that. It's one thing to know you're responsible for somebody's life and to deal with that shit. Because I'm going to be honest, at first, I didn't think it was the big deal. I said, what the f*** they making a big deal out of this shit for? I didn't mean it. That's 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 the denial shit that we go through. I didn't mean this shit. What the f*** they making a big deal trying to give me 15 years from shit? I didn't mean this shit. It was a fucking accident. I didn't know. I didn't have empathy. Once I was doing time and I learned empathy and I grew, mm. then I started to see this man, this man never see his kids go to graduation. This man will never see his grandkids. This man will never do none of that. Yeah, I'm in prison, but my kid can write me. She can get on the phone. She can come. You know what I mean? So you start to look at life. And when you become responsible for a life, you don't never want to do that shit again. Never want to. I won't never want to take no more. Nothing's that serious. Because dudes that's doing life right now, they got 10, 20 years in. If you ask them what the fuck happened 20 years ago, they're like, that's some bullshit, man. I should never even did that. Talk to you like it was yesterday. Yeah. These I go to Pro Bowl. I'm thinking I'm just talking about what I'm there for. They say, yeah, so in 1997, you got caught with a stolen cop's gun. So tell us why you fucking had a gun and I don't want to hear that protection. How do you answer that? You know what How saying? the f you got caught with that? Caught what? The, the, the police gun. This is how it happened. I got caught and I figured I got to get a gun. So somebody in the project was selling a gun and I bought the f gun. Then one day they say we got a call with somebody in a Wu-Tang jacket, got a gun. I'm coming out the studio. Boom, they run up on me, find me with a gun. It's that simple. Um, The CEO told on you? That the, the, the correction officer, your man? I don't. You know what? Because did he get this, in trouble? This, this, this is what I'm going to say. No, no, he's still a CEO. He worked in Texas as a federal CEO. So I, I don't know what he did because I can't say he told on me because I don't have proof of that because I didn't go that far. I copped out. 
so I didn't get to. But if I put one plus one plus one, that's three. That's understanding. I have a clear understanding of what the <laughs> f- going on. That was good. That was a good one. So I can't blame them, but and you know through it all, do it all because that was my brother. I love it. Still, can I f- with him? No. Do I love him? Yes. Do I understand the situation he was in? Yes. But all he had to do was say, bro, he could have just wrote me a letter. He could have wrote me like my whole bit, bro. No, he did. I'm lying. Wrote me one letter say he was following protocol. I ripped that shit up and flushed his protocol. What protocol are you following? I, I was pissed off at that. But as it go on today, I can say I can't. It is what it is. Do I love him? I always love him because we have great memories. But would I put myself in that situation again? Absolutely not. We have a couple more questions for you before we leave. Um, G? Um, um, oh, y'all prepared. Y'all wrote this shit down. I thought y'all was freestyling. Nah, I'm, I'm, free, I'm freestyling. He, he's uh, prepared. Yeah, I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. Because he told me, he was like, yo, nigga, hit me up. Yo, you going you going to flip the script. Yo, this flip. This nigga come with some real shit. Yo, you got... I'm like, all right. Well, listen. Just say something I don't agree to. If I don't answer it, or I'm going to answer I it. I think that I think that it's the comfortability. Like you yeah. know what I mean? Because you answer questions that you didn't answer anywhere else, and I and I appreciate that. I think that you know it's the comfortability, it's the rapport, it's yeah. the that's what it is, man. Yeah. You know, and that's what makes us. No, it's from real. It's people. real shit, man. It's real. Shit. That's what you why, did, and that, I'm gonna commend you for calling Sunshine. You know what I yeah. mean? And that was dope. That was that was like you know I I commend you for that because. You know, we always glorify the negativity, but we don't shine light on when two brothers come together. That, that, that's yeah. like sort of like taboo. Yeah. They would want to, they yeah. would love, that would be, yo, in Staten Island, when they see this, they gonna go, oh my f- God, I mean, because behind closed doors, we build. That was fire. We build. You set the tone. We build. That's because all that, 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 that can show that people can be, because f- there was a time, and, and I'm not gonna be, I'm not even gonna hold it. There's some people I fuck with, fuck that shit. Da, 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 da. I'm like, no, ain't doing nothing. It's not happening. You know how you feel? No, family and everything. Nah, da, 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 da. I'm like, nah, because we already. We, I, my word is my bond, and I can res. I, I respect everything that came about that, because it's just gonna cre- create more hurt. I don't want to hurt nobody. Right. I want to live. I want to make money. I want to say, yo, we can do things like, yo, what are you good at? Because he has talents that he's good at. He ran a whole f***ing say he's intelligent to do that. So if he could do that, he can run a f***ing store. Mm-hmm. Why not put our bread together? You run that store and break bread. F*** the gang. Run the store. Mm-hmm. Manage that shit. And if I can put him in a situation because just like Wu-Tang's story is my story, He's a part of my story. He's a part of who I, not who I am, but a part of my story of growing up. And people are always going to know that. And he, and he's, I wouldn't say famous, but he's infamous in the street level associated with me. So why not give him a chance to, to better himself and put him in a position to do better? And I hope I can take, I don't know their differences, but Shaquel, my big brother, I don't know their differences. But hopefully that I can say, hey, maybe it's just a conversation y'all need some two facts, need to have facts. between me. Now, if y'all can't, just don't do it in front of me. Please don't do fight or do anything in front of me. I don't want to be in that situation. Mm-hmm. Do it without me. And whatever happens, happens. But just know I'm not, I'm not going to be the one to line anybody up in anything. Right. Because I believe both of them brothers is intelligent. Both of them brothers got followers, and both of them brothers know how to lead. Sometimes and them two together to can do. Media, yeah. And you know what I'm saying? yeah, that's that's, what because, I like. that's fire. Yeah, because people from the left immediately are bring you in. Well, you said this, you said that. Nah, that's why I try. That's why I try to say. I ain't say. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't say. Mm-hmm. That's one but of the reasons why I still, when you see it, I didn't see it. When you hear it, I didn't hear none. Wasn't paying attention. But the, but that's why I had to stop it because it was starting to go too far that I couldn't sit there and allow it to go too far. Nah, that's respect. And I said, saying, yo, right hold thing. on, hold on. You did nah, the right nah, thing. Nah, because that's my big bro. So I can't. Did, I, I don't did, even want to hear nothing. You did the shit. right thing. Y'all, y'all get together. Y'all do your own Say interview. No and that's on whatever because that's, I'm not going to. 
my yeah. principal loyalty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's other shit, it's new shit, it's great, and all that, but principal, just like he spoke on me like that, I gotta stand up and speak for him like that yeah, at he all did, time. he spoke good, he spoke highly, yeah. We got a couple more questions and then we gonna get about it here. Yeah, so, um, you know, just, just sitting here hearing your story and, you know, learning about you today a lot more than what we did already, you know, like, where do you feel you would be if you weren't in these situations growing up in Staten Island and, you know, dealing with the, your pops and his situation, your mom's and, you know, the whole Wu-Tang and, you know, seeing what you saw. Like, where would, where do you feel you would be right now if you didn't go through those situations? It don't matter. I'm where I am. It don't matter. It's counting ghosts. That's like you got a hand in his face saying, yo, I got five books and you only really got two. Yeah. If you had five, you would have five. But you got two. <laughs> yeah. I got that. I got... What I went through is what I was supposed to went through. I don't know, but I'm just I'm I'm grateful for what I did go through because the lessons that I learned, the relationships that I built, mm -hmm. is priceless, and I never trade that shit for nothing else. Mm. It could have went another way, but I but I I'm grateful for the way it went. Would you do anything different if if, if you can go back in, in time and? I can't say I would because, like, how do you say that? Mm -hmm. How do you say I would do something different? Because that person made the decisions who I was then, made the best decisions that Shaheem knew at 15, 18, 20. He made the best decision that was for him. Mm -hmm. This guy who I am now today wouldn't make those same decisions if you put me back in time because I'm a different person. And sometimes I struggle. I'm human. I struggle. Right. And I keep that fucking person that want to... Some water or something in this shit. You caught me 10 years ago, this wouldn't be this shit. I have on a vest and a 19 Glock Glizzy sitting there like this with a bunch of other dusted like, yo, we here to do. Showing up to, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't have been late. I'd have been late. Mm. Talking about, yo, it's an interview. Talking stupid. Mm. That's who I was then. I'm not that person anymore. What's your relationship with um, Big L? Well, your relationship with Big, Big L? L Big up. L, Big L is resting in peace. Right. You know what I'm saying? So my relationship with him is that I wear a tattoo on my neck for him. You know what I'm saying? I smoke an L. No, I don't smoke an L. I wish I could smoke an L <laughs> for his birthday and his uh -huh. death day. You know, sometimes. Gotcha. You know, but and to keep his name alive, he was a good friend of mine. Mm. Beyond music. You know what I'm saying? Me, L was young. I was younger than him. Um, I was big in Harlem. I was from Staten Island. I used to come to Harlem. Anything I wanted, weed, anything that I was looking for, dust. He made sure I got it at a reasonable situation <laughs> and heavy. Shout mm -hmm. out to the Corleone family, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And flamboyant. They always showed me love, man. Who did you not get along with in the industry back then? I ain't get along with a lot of I ain't get along with a lot of fake. Who you that you don't, you don't say names? You, you gotta, I don't know. Anybody notable, noticeable? That I didn't get along with? Yeah, that you, yeah. Nah, you know, the industry is funny. You know who you don't get along with by people who block your blessings. So, a nigga ain't never tell me, yo, yo, Sha, I don't fucking like you. I don't get along with you. Because it would have been something else. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't that secretly underhanded shit Then you look at it and be like yo I ain't never not like nobody Cause I'm not like that When I meet a person I call them like this Hey I give it a hundred percent And some people say that's wrong Some people say yo you should make them earn a hundred percent I say nah what I do is I give you a hundred percent If you deduct from that shit And I start knowing this Becoming a liability You at fifty percent Forty five percent I don't fuck with you no more So but who did Who acted funny to you It's a lot of niggas who? Who? Everybody when I have a hit record. <laughs> who you was cool with acting funny then? Everybody that when I have a hit record. It said you had beef with Raekwon. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't call it beef. What was it? What would you beef? call it? Beef? What would you call it? Me and Sunshine had beef. Yes. Me and Raekwon ain't have no beef. What did you have a misunderstanding? What was it? What did it derive from? See, I, you know what? Because we, we, we also, we made amends. So for me to sit there and talk okay. about past shit, but I will say this. In certain situations, you are attached and you your loyalty is to certain people. Mm. My loyalty was with the RZA. That's my big bro. 
at a certain time, all of them was against RZA. And I was RZA's man. So you against RZA, you against me. You know what I'm saying? In all reality. Mm. But for me, if you against RZA, you against me. And that's just how it started. You know, and then situations because people was pretending so it was still shows and things of that. And, you know, we just we just didn't see eye to eye at certain shit. And 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 I felt I felt what's the word I wanna say? Uh entitled. I felt a lot of entitlement with them. I'm not gonna lie, I felt entitlement. I felt that, you know, they in eight positions. I'm from Staten Island. They're supposed to take me on tour. They're supposed to do this for me. They're supposed to do that for me. F that. These niggas ain't real niggas. They're not doing that for me. That was a sense of entitlement I had. So part of that played into our issues. Besides that, he had an issue with my man. Respect. So I felt entitled. So when a person, and now I see, like, I wasn't getting no money with Ray. I wasn't doing no songs with Ray. I wasn't telling Ray, yo, you take me on tour, you getting 30%. I just felt entitled that because I was from Staten Island. This shit should be laid out to me. And that wasn't right on my behalf. And I did immature things. Like, I was never supposed to do this record. record. Yeah. I was supposed to just take it back to the lab. But that's when you immature, you do shit like that. Mm -hmm. You want to be heard, you know what I'm saying? So I did that. And, you know, and... And I apologize to the man. Mm -hmm. I apologize to him on Vlad. I apologize to him in person. And he apologized to me as well. Respect. It wasn't just not no one thing. And he said, yo, you know what, Sha? Like, yo, I didn't allow you to grow up and be a man. I still seen you as a shorty when you went through shit, you a man. So I got to treat you as a man. And it's respectful. I his numbers in my phone. I ain't never think I have it. Just like, mm -hmm. and I'm taking his number in my phone. I'm like, yo, I ain't never think I have your number in my phone, Raycorn. I ain't never think I have Sunshine phone number in my phone. Hmm. I have uh, two more questions and I'm going to uh, pass it to G. Let's get it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the notes here and um, you know somebody that I know very well, my family, Gossip Viv. So one oh, of the, oh, oh, my God. One of the oh, questions you just, is, what's your oh, you just tickled me, Elmo. <laughs> that's Viv. my heart. Beautiful shout the, shout the Viv. No, no. When I say that's my heart, Viv is my heart. Beautiful. I did an interview with Viv for This Is 50. I went to prison. This is not a jail I touch that Viv ain't write me a fucking letter, oh, ain't wow. have her phone on. That's what's up. For all of my six fucking years, consistently. Wow. That's my, that's my, you, you know how Pac would be like, yo, Jada was like his best friend. That's my friend. I don't give a, like, for real, for real. And, she, and, and, and I cut off relationships with people that she ain't with. And I'm like, you don't f with them, it's over. Mm. Because her loyalty, her dedication for me, when I I'm I'm talking about money orders, I keeping your phone on, letters, pictures of what's going on and just information and mm. keeping my mind sane and moving. That would forever, forever, ever be my friend. And it hurt me so bad because when I was away, I'm like, Viv, you getting the first interview. You got to get the first interview. But she lives where she lives. She said, Sha, I can't get to New York. So I'm like, oh, this flash is there. She's like, do it. I'm like, Viv, but no. She's like, do it. Mm. Do whatever you got to do. And when we get to do what we're going to do, it's just going to set up for what we're doing. How'd you meet Viv? Viv hit me up. She was doing Gossip Viv. Shit me up on MySpace. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know me. Mm -hmm. I, at this time, I'm 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 like straight. I don't want to say savage because I'm true and living God. But I was a little like, so I said, oh, who does this hit me up? I said, yeah, I'm doing this interview. You know what I'm saying? But then the vibe was just from the initial. Yeah, she could be. Was just, was just respectful and just was everything. And it wasn't just about the interview. So after the interview, we always kept in contact and... Anything she was doing, I try to show up. Anything I was doing, she show up, and she just always remained a friend for me. That's what's up. You know what I mean, I love Viv. Nah, yeah, I call Viv right now. That she's probably <laughs> sleeping because she got to do some things by the morning. Um. Also, one last one is that said uh, that you mentioned that um, that Vlad held you down while you was in like was there or whatever. No, 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 no. What no, does he say? I, I didn't say help me down. Like, uh, people so don't hold you down. Mention mm -hmm. you. 
Uh, I said I had I, whatever they thought. I clarified. Me and Vlad had a relationship before I went to prison. Vlad mm -hmm. had a vlog before he before he popped and became who he was. Oh, Vlad supported you from day one. Sorry. Yeah, he supported me. No, no honestly, because he had he had a blog. If you remember back when Vlad TV was just like a blog with yeah. um, they had a couple of other sh back then. Um, even Hip Hop DX was just a regular blog before it popped. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was just regular blogs. And when I was starting my bottom up movement, they would post everything. So that's how we became cool. You know what I'm saying? He he wasn't like writing me all the time. Doggy Diamonds, we became cool. He wasn't writing me all the time. The only, f and I'm gonna be real, the only blogger, anything that was Gossip Viv, mm -hmm. that was consistent with me through the whole ride. Respect. All right. That's all what right. it is. And I still ain't do an interview with her. And I owe, oh, I, I don't need to I'm gonna give you 5% of the next album. They got so, <laughs> so so let's let's go into twenty twenty now. Like what what can we expect from Shaheem now in twenty twenty? I see you got a ring in your finger also. You know, we we'll talk about that or you want you want um, this is a commitment. This is a commitment to do right. Okay. Commitment to better myself. You thought the nigga was married? And and, yeah, and, and no, I'm just saying it's a commitment to do better in all aspects. Mm -hmm. In my relationship with women. <laughs> A commitment to do better in that, my career. That was a wrong assumption? <laughs> a, a commitment to be a better father, to be a better friend. Because sometimes we need reminders. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We need reminders. Sometimes our, our brains ain't strong enough. My, At least my brain ain't strong nah, enough. Nah, I, I hate you. Because I slip up. I hate but then when I'm about to do some bullshit <laughs> on my finger, I said, all right, I can't go with this shit down. Okay. It's going to remind me, go home. I it's late. Get the f home. You're on parole. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be out this late. Bugging you in the pro what are you doing? In First of all, what are you even going to the store with these? This shootout can happen right now. You got on a black jacket. There's a lot of the black jacket. You're gonna get locked up. Mm -hmm. It's just a reminder. It, but it's also commitment for everything. So I'm not gonna fuck it up. It's commitment for relationships, commitment for religion, not religion, way of life. Pardon me, because I study Islam as a way of life, not a religion. So. Um, 120 degrees. Uh, family, being a father, commitments, being dedicated to my craft, it's just all for commitments that I'm making in the future. But trust and know, when I get married, y'all will see it because I'm trying to have some fly. I'm trying to have that shit like the old motherfucking westerns with niggas real <laughs> looking like the mob, coming with my little bucket like this and all white like kids. Yeah, Lee gonna be there. Lee gonna be at the door waving a fan like what are you. Come here, it's crazy. Yeah. So what can we expect from from, from Shahim in 2020? You know, music, movies, shows, anything? That, the, you fir know? the first thing that I'm going to release is my audio book. My mm. audio book, I wrote an autobiography. But it's a different type of audio book. It's, 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 it's a, um... Oh, damn, I get f***ed up with my words sometimes. But it's like, an, it's, it's like, just picture this. Turn your screen off on your movie and just listen to it. Sound effects. People playing parts. Okay. I got Cherry Johnson playing the part of my mother. I got I got Mercury from the Force and D's. I got his son playing Mercury. Mm. I got I got Vita when Vita was my girlfriend. I got Vita playing her. Oh, I got Vita, Foxy man. Brown when she was my girlfriend. Queen oh. Pan when they was my girlfriend. Playing like like that's my goal to get them to play they to read they shit. And and play their how part. we missed that in the in, hold on <laughs> hold on slow down nah, nah, nah. now I gotta ask another question how hold we on, missed nah, that nah, wait, 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 wait. but but my goal is to get all of them to how do we do, skip past my that? goal my goal is to get all of them to play <laughs> them in oh my, my autobiography Yo, he, he went to court two, two times two times come on I'm a rugged chat what you doing less of me doing less of me but did, let me ask you this. Did it get to a point where I was like allowing anything? Nah. All right, as long as that's not, because I never want like somebody that's my brother to feel like I'm allowing somebody you, you, so you, crazy. You, but you see, side over real quick so you can talk to Mike. You see, we wouldn't put out something that's not the intention. Because you know, you know what it could turn into. If it cuts at a certain part, because yeah. you know, sometimes we put clips out first. So if we cut it where you tell them like, yo, hold on, Shaquel, my brother, we cut it before that, then that's intentionally done. Then that yeah. looks crazy. But you gotta let parts like that play through. Yeah. Cause you did say that, like, yo, should I call my brother? I ain't gonna do da da da. And that's what you did. And you stood on it. 
No, that's a fact. Yeah, because I, I never want that. I never want no confusion because it, you're not going to get it up. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to allow that. Yeah, because, understood. Because that is, like, regardless of who, who he is. Because I didn't know who he was. He official. When, no, when I met him, I didn't know who he was. He was just a dude that was locked up with my pops that my pops put on the phone that I, he rapped to. And we used to, yo, hours. I'm young. I'm like 14. I just got a record deal. And he's locked up. So I'm excited to talk to locked up and we rapping and we going back to back i would be on tour i would send him pictures and yo listen that saved all the pictures to this day he's sending me pictures Blink, remember this picture i'm like oh shit, you saved that shit mm. like that's my bro and he was he he said yo why didn't the you fight me why didn't you tell me this was going on? i found that on the street this was going on says so you were supposed to get in contact with me and I don't know this because I'm not jailing. I didn't know, yo, tell somebody to write him boomerang. I didn't, I wasn't into that shit. Let me, let me, let me we, before you left, mm -hmm. you said that you messed with Foxy Brown. No, I didn't. I was just saying mess with. I said it was my girlfriend's. Whoa. I oh, so who was your girlfriend? Foxy Brown. Who else? Foxy. Foxy was. Who else? No, no. I said who else. No, I, I'm gonna get into that. <laughs> my first girlfriend in the industry was Foxy Brown. Ooh. Her name at the time was AKA. She wasn't Foxy Brown yet. Her name was AKA from Brooklyn. She used to run with DR period MOP in them. That's who she was first. And that was my girlfriend. Took it down? That's his girlfriend. You see me? I'm a light skinned nigga. <laughs> That's the book. You read the book. Who, who's the but, second but, girlfriend? But, but I'm a light skinned nigga from Staten Island. You know what I'm saying? I got a record. I got $350,000. Like, come on. <laughs> G, no, come on, man. G, Let's go. Yeah, get that shit, G. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you got to come in on the show when we rocking. Dun, 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 dun. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want shit. Like, yeah. Who's the second girlfriend? Queen Pin. That was my first old older girlfriend because I was young. Yeah, Queen Pin was my girlfriend as well. And who else? You, see, you named three people. Vita was my girlfriend. As From Murder, Inc. Yeah. Was she, she with Murder, Inc.? She was in Murder, Inc. She was, she was in Belly. She was Keisha in Belly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how you got her? We was, uh, oh, I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you, this is a fucked up story. It's fucked up. But it, you know what? Every <laughs> fucked up story has a great ending. Let me check it. I went because I got a call from Hype Williams to come to audition for the movie Belly. So I come to do audition from Belly. I'm sitting in the lobby. I'm looking, nice little pretty thing. I thought she was from Total because that's her sister came up from Total it's her sister mm. so this is the chick from Total I'm hollering she's like yo you the wild for me she said oh no I'm not my sister so we we start talking whatever whatever so during that they like yo we got a rule for meth we got a rule we want to get in touch with power I said oh them's my bro I put you on touch boom now something in, in the mix of all that we doing rehearsals we doing all this crazy with the movie Mind you, I had past relationship with Foxy. It didn't go out too well. So, somehow, through the mix of the firm, I get kicked out the movie. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm just showing up for set one day. You ain't here. You're not in the movie no more. Man, man. what happened? I ain't get no call. What the like, all right, whatever. I got in too deep after that, so it didn't matter. That was a bit... Like, maybe in the hood, Belly's a bigger movie, but... As far as sales like that into deep was, mm -hmm. so I didn't really I didn't really sweat that, and um yeah, that was that. Okay, well, but you said it ended. It, it was a good situation that ended. It was yeah because I got into deep, so it didn't even matter what happened. With so Vita. what does Vita had to do? Because I met Vita at the the, the audition. For how long was well, how long was her boyfriend for? I think I was a boyfriend. I don't know how long I was a boyfriend for, but she was my girlfriend for about, about <laughs> like a year. <laughs> well, I don't know how long she kept me. How, how, what happened with you and Foxy? How did that end bad? It didn't really. You said it already. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna you know let you go like that. You know why it ended I'm bad? I'm gonna tell you why it ended bad. I'm gonna tell you why it ended bad. It ended bad because a lot of lines. Not Coke lines. No, not those type of oh. A lot of lines oh. were said. You know what I'm saying? And Different. when they when they pop, it's like yo, they ain't see your shout out to shout. What? They ain't see shout out to shout. Come on, you know what it oh. is. Oh, you know what it is. So you wrote it now? No, 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 no. Hold no, on, no, chill no. out, chill out. Influence, influence. 
Yo, it's chill out. Foxy right now. Don't play like that. Influential. Influential. Don't play. I speak Influ to Foxy. It's my people. Call Slow up down. right now. Slow down. I don't got her call number, but right I speak now. to her. All right, well, you call <laughs> up right now. She can't deny a shot. But this is what Woo! it is. Hold up. Whoa, whoa. This is what it is. Hold up. You don't know about Foxy like that, bro. All right, well, you know what? Yo, 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 Link, yo, Link, yo, Link. This big n come try to sit next to me. You ain't gonna do that. Big n trying to come sit next to me, Law. So you Pace to the guns. Peace, Peace on, buddy. Hold on, you inspired lines, bro? Listen, you gotta understand. We teenagers. We ins she inspired me, too. Mm. She was the first girl that I ever met from, I, I'm from Staten Island. She was rocking coach and guests and all this fly shit. Yes, she inspired me as well, but I inspired her as well. Ooh. But the biz, the business. She gonna write me about that. The business separated us. Mm. The business separated us because honestly, her mother, her brothers, like they'll yeah. forever be yeah. family to me. Mm. Shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? I used to chill in fucking St. Mark's place, be in her little ass room, like we were just chilling. That's the my. Forever, but the industry separated us, and then you know it happens. You grow up. Respect. You know, what I mean? shout out to Fox. And Queen hey, Penn, baby. Queen he Penn. said Queen Penn was, you know. Queen Penn, what happened? She dumped you because she was too she old. Can, there ain't nobody dumping me. <laughs> dumping you me. You dumped Queen Penn. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Right now, right now, I got a bald head. I had the braids. You know what I'm saying? No beard. My shit trimmed up. Nigga, I'm standing out. Ah, you know, blue weird jacket, wallabies. Uh, ain't nobody was turning that down. You crazy? <laughs> Who else you had then? So who else? I know, I know it wasn't this. Who had me? I ain't had nobody. So who else had you? Who, who else had you? Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> Got to get no, it while it's good. You know Got to get no, it while it's good, this, baby. Right? What I'm going to say this. Like, who this. else, bro? Listen. <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. You right? get him. Because I'm not on no super. I can't even say super head because she a chick. But I'm not on no super bro. So I'm not going <laughs> to sit there. I'm not going to sit there and tell of who I've been with. But what I'm saying is, like, I can't talk about any of them disrespectfully or untastefully. Respect. So I'm saying we all shared moments of time with each other. Respect. Whether it was Foxy, whether it was Vita, whether it was Lamisha from 702, whether it was, whether it was, wh whether it was uh, uh, any of them. Who else? We all had. Yeah. You almost, you almost, Lamisha. <laughs> we, we all, one we, more, one more. Give us one more. Queen Pan. We all had Queen taste. Queen Pan, you got to give me that's four. We, we, all, we all had tasteful. Star five. One more. We Star five. Star five. Relationship. Staten Island is in here. Yeah. One more. <laughs> we need one more. Come on, bro. Come we on. got Queen Pen, <laughs> 702, you drunk. Vita, you drunk. Foxy. Drinking water. You drunk drinking water. Come on, let's get it. Last one. There got to be one more. <laughs> all right, one more. I fumbled, though. Who? I fumbled on it. I who fumbled you, on it. Who you fumbled on? I fumbled on a lot, but I fumbled on this one. I fell on Chili. Chili. I fumbled on Chili. I fumbled on Chili. Get out. I'm about to get out. Get up, get I'm about to get out. I fumbled. I fumbled. Ow! I'm going to tell you how. Let it burn! Let it burn! I'm going to tell you how. Let it burn! You know how? You know how? You know how? I'm going to tell you how. Because I was a f fan. And the whole night I talked and took pictures. Oh. And just took, so I found out later that she I said, he's my age. What the f*** out of shot? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, G, let's, let's go. But I love Duna. I love oh, Duna. Shout man. out to them. Yeah, any, no any, disrespect. Nah. Nah. Any, no, anybody, no, honestly, anybody I deal with, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm G.O.D., so the conversation is always going to be different. The re relationship is always going to be different. Respect. So it's nothing but respect to those ladies. I'm not saying that, yo, whatever we did wasn't held sacred or whatever we didn't do was in any form or fashion. You know, even the other ladies that, you know, that's not famous, respect. You know what I'm saying? We, cool. we got growing pains and growing times and laughter and happiness and all other type of good <laughs> Good guy, man. You're a good guy, bro. Oh, oh, we got to do this. We're happy and we're brothers and we're colors. <laughs> 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 Give me a <laughs> high five. <laughs> we, we, we didn't open a whole lot to y'all. Yeah, appreciate that. Nah, but this is the real though because everybody said this is where it needs to be be at. So y'all asked the tough questions, and I answered the twelve tough questions as, as honest you as did. I could. You set the tone. You set as the tone I could. You know what I'm saying? And and I just want people to know the way things start out, they don't have to end that way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you know That's what I'm saying. Fire. I want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out Solid to Sunshine. Guy. You know what I'm saying? God bless on your kid and your future. 
I want to get a rest in peace shout out to my boy Meg from Sunset Brooklyn. Rest in peace. Shout out to Fred the Godson, Big L, nice. Old Dirty Bastard, Biggie Smalls, Tupac Shakur, all my friends and family. Oh, I want to shout out Staten Island. I want to shout out New York City. Let's get it back together. Let's get our sound back together. Let's let's unite. I want to shout out everybody that's in the penitentiary and everybody that got family in the penitentiary. It's important that you write them and send them money and you go visit them every chance you get because the same way these crackers is killing us on the streets of New York and the streets around the country and they're killing us by guns. They're killing us in the systems. They're beating us to death and nobody is even having their family do independent autopsies. So if your family's killed in these prisons, please do an independent autopsies. Check up on your family because they're killing them the same. Because the people incarcerated is the forgotten ones. Don't forget them, y'all. Mm. Give me a sign. Give me the money. Give me the money. That's my sign. Round, round of applause, man. Give us your social media before we get out of here. You can follow. All right. All right. Instagram, you can follow me at. um. Is it follow? Yeah, it's follow, right? Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at Shaheem underscore rugged. On Facebook, I'm Shaheem the Man Child Franklin. Uh, business in it was inquiries, inquiries only. Yeah. Yeah. Shaheem S H Y H E I M B U at Gmail dot com. Please don't flood my sh with potential. Sh I just want to know if you got the cash right now. Then we could do whatever we're gonna do. But don't contact me talking about what you want to do in the future what you got plans to do in the future that's not for that you do that on instagram and shit like that and you stay there but those <laughs> that want to do some business you got some beats i'm taking beats i'm taking tours you know what i'm saying but i just want to be involved on the back end salute man uh dope episode uh probably one of the one of the longer episodes that we've done no, we can make it into two we can make, no, no, we gonna, no, we gonna leave it. Just we gonna this, no, this no, is no, this is good. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. This is think good. About this, click worthy with Vlad does. He took a interview just as long as we did and made ten episodes and got one point five million views I know. off of it. I know, I know. So do it. We see it, but we we, we do it a little different. We, we do our, we who's do. Who's gonna no? Honestly, who's <clears> gonna <throat> f watch a whole hour with Shaheem talking? Shit? A lot of people. They, they watch yeah. it. They watch it. We do things different. Oh. This is, oh, wait, wait, you on the internet? What? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> See you on the internet. Nah, we live on we live on BC. <laughs> BC, we live right now. Hey. Yo, so let's let's <laughs> we we gonna sign out, man. We gonna, <laughs> we gonna sign out. We about to break to a commercial, y'all. Yo, listen, shout out to Shaheem for coming yo, through, yo, man. Shout out, y'all, man. Flip the script. Dope. I ain't gonna lie. One of the best that I've ever been. Appreciate you. One Thank of you. the best where I've ever been. I ain't gonna lie. Thank, Thank you. Bro. Man, y'all asked the tough questions. Thank you, brother. Y'all asked the tough questions, so y'all put me to the gun to re to respond. And I said, "Oh, these <laughs> guys want to ask about this. Hold on, let me just, just let me let me pull my shit out." <laughs> so, listen, you're the first one to do that, and, and and I have to give you respect and credit. You know what I'm saying? You're the first one to do that, and to call somebody that you had prior issues with live on the show. So. We sat down, the man sat down forever. Mm, okay. Sat down forever, regardless. And I say this firmly. And I don't have no doubt in it. Even at the prime of our issues, in my heart, I have no doubt. If I would have landed somewhere with that brother and other niggas from other places was trying to do something to me because of what we had, I don't doubt that he wouldn't have stood with me. Respect. Mm. That's a fact. I don't doubt that. It's that now and stand up, nigga. That's what's up. Bro. Well, now I know we're going to sign out, man. Make sure you follow the pages. Yeah, right? at, all. at DJ G Money 156, yeah, at Queens Flip with a Z. At Flip the Script Pod. Yeah, shout out to even new DJ G Money. Yeah. yeah, yo, hold on. Can we sign out? We trying to leave now, <laughs> man. Right, right, right. Yeah, but listen, you guys say my new DJ too. I gotta go to the bathroom too. So I gotta, gotta, gotta yeah, Nah, you ain't gotta go to the bathroom and tell me you my new DJ. Nah, I'm that, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't told business yet. Slow down, man. Yeah. Yo, shot crazy. Listen, real quick, man. Oh, shout shout to the Flip the Manager. <laughs> Talk that shit. Yo, we, yo, we, we talking talkin spicy. Out, we trying to sign out, man. Hey, I, I don't know. What you hit like sign out like Google? We trying to leave. Nah, you got, got, got another yeah, yeah, show too. Got I got another show to do. Got another show to do too. I wait, and they probably saying, "Who's this yo, nigga? Uh, is he old school? This nigga old school. Who the this nigga? We the new way. We drip. We drippy. We lit. Yo, shout shout to today's sponsors, man. Uh, who 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 sponsored G Money for the episode? Can I be a sponsor? Yes. How much it cost? Yeah, we, we can talk. See, yeah, I want the cheapest smalls I can be. I'll give you a discount. No, a super discount. <laughs> I'll give you a super discount. With a coupon. <laughs> <laughs> we 
Groupon, you know what I'm saying? Groupon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, right, I'm done, I'm done. Shout, shout out to old YO Fleet, you know what I'm saying, sponsoring the, the t-shirt today, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, this, <laughs> this is the maintain T, man, you know what I'm saying? It means keep your head up, so shout out to them, www.oyoflea.com. Shout out to Dirty O, a new artist from Uptown, New York. He got a single out right now called No Bank Account. It's on all his uh, music platforms, Spotify, Title, everything. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Title. Uh, um, yeah. Can I play Before we go, can nah. I play some, fuse, some official shit? Official we, can't play, shit. we can't play music on here. No, why? Nah. Copyrights and stuff. Rights? Yeah. I don't want to race this shit yet neither. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, let's get the fuck out of here, yo. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I gotta sign up, man. Got, got oh, sign up, sign up, sign up. Signing off for the land. Yo, this queen this flip, man. Yo. <laughs> right, Do Chill your out, shit, man. flip. Chill out. Come on, flip. Come on, I'm almost done, man. Love. Yo, it's Queens Flip. You are real TV. Queens TV Flip, man. Real TV right now. You Queens know, good Flip right good, now. Real TV. Good interview. Good interview. Come on, Shai, man. <laughs> Come on, on Shai, man. man. All right. <laughs> you gonna say all day? Nah, 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 nah. All right. I swear, I swear, I stop, I stop. I'm fucking you. Lock your doors. Lock your doors. See, all right. Close your See, windows. Right. Close your windows. <laughs> yes, I hey. Yes, I hey. yo, JR, come tell me. Yo, JR, come tell me. Nah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I love y'all, man. No, no, no. We're Real not shit. done. We're not done. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. Shout out to Shaheen for coming through. Shout out to Big Malik. Yeah. I appreciate these people. Yeah, Shout out to my man, uh, that left. Jonathan. 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 Jay. Jay. Oh, his yeah. name is Jonathan. Yeah. Remember, lock your professional name. Lock your doors, close your windows, close your blinds, open your blinds. If you see a nigga like Shaheem on your lawn, don't be fucking afraid to use a firearm. I'm from <laughs> No, don't fire no firearm. You ain't got to do that, nigga. You ain't got to use nothing. No, 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 no. No, you ain't got to do no firearm. Don't, don't turn on the water holes, because I'm just here trying to sell some property. You know what I'm trying to sell some shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't turn on the water holes, because I'm just here trying to sell some property. I'm trying to sell some shit. I got everything. I got t shirts. I got, I, got, I got everything. I got jewelry. I got everything. I'm just trying to sell some shit. I'm not trying to cause nobody no harm. One love, y'all. Peace.